Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, 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 what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the new representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? Uh, um, uh, it's Shadow Worth the Guy, aka uh, BL. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Boss a lot of, God, I'm about to say Boss Lotter, uh, uh, Lotter, the Boss. Drink some water, nigga, now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, we, nah, we we drinking we drinking premium spirits, nigga. That that, that L one bi uh, smoothest vodka you could drink. Um, yeah, it's a Soraka vodkas. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hold on, for Soraka is vodka. I'm sorry, I'm fucking up. <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> here Thursday night, nigga. I literally just woke up before this cast, nigga. I'm tired. The Soraka vodkas is crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, cause it's smooth, dude, bro, bro. You got your fam, like, I, yo, you gotta try this, nigga. Like, it tastes, it's, it's smoother than water, nigga. I don't drink vodka. Why? Cause it's nasty. What the fuck? Yo, oh, you'll change your mind no, if you drink not. this one. No, it's not. No, it's dude, not. Dude, this the smooth. No, this the best vodka I've ever had in my Bananas life. King P, what the fuck you drink? You, you, you must be one of the. You remind me a lot of these women about. Oh, I, I liked vodka Fuck when I was you, in college. Nigga. Now I don't like. Now I don't like it anymore because I drank too much in college. Like, get out of here! With that. There ain't no liquor in this anytime world. I drink, I drink too much of. Anytime I drink liquor in college, nigga. I mean, vodka in college, it, it led to me throwing up, nigga. That's all I remember. That's there how you I go. Found, that that's how I like found vodka. out I like brown liquor because that shit didn't make me. Throw You're a brown, brown nigga. <laughs> Vodka's clear, pure. I could do that's vodka. lights. I can do Poodle. gin, nigga. I can't do vodka. Poodle. Oh. Get out of here. Nigga, you can't do tequila either. Nigga, I've been like, yo, man, I got each. This nigga hit me up. I was like, yo, yo, room, yo. Then came through the crib. I was like, yo, nigga, you want to do shots? Like, come nigga, on, dude. It was, was 9 o'clock in the morning. Stop catching Nigga, nah, nah. You said it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I, I guess they're both bad, but nah, fuck. This nigga lying. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. I just woke up, drank a Celsius, ready to start my day. He like, yo, I just got these new bottles. You trying to try a shot? <laughs> This nigga lying. <laughs> it was three ago. This nigga just got home. So I'm literally because back in it, you know, I'm old school. And nigga get off from work, you know, he you think he wanna drink. So I got home earlier. He get home, so I'm like, hey nigga, I, I got this you want shots? This nigga's like, nigga, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Like <laughs> nigga, I don't drink like that. But I feel you. <laughs> Damn, made me look bad, but but yeah, uh, salute everybody. Ringgameradio.com in the building. Salute to everybody else. Um, uh, what up to my nigga Prolific Genius? I, I I'll let him the other day. He good. So, what's good, everybody? DZ Clan RP PJ. What it do? Yes, sir. You know, Ring Gang forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good? This your boy King P. Bodega P. Bodega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's go. I wasn't going to ban anybody until I get on Twitter and I see all these spready stuff. No, we are not posting any spreadies, any fetty, any stuff. Get, get away from that. Like, that is some mook stuff. Get that out of here. No mook activities allowed over here. Please do not do that. That nigga should have done that shit in the first we place. Don't, he shouldn't yeah, so nobody that. should we even have a him. picture of you uh, and that he, should, and that he should have he shouldn't have never wiped the porn star in the second place or got the bitch pregnant in the third place nigga there's That's a lot of first and second places here <laughs> <laughs> you running a race <laughs> to no. hell Phil? He, he fucked up nigga that, i can i can every time i hear a freddie Gibbs song now it's like all i think about is his bitch it's terrible no, <laughs> didn't she she even made a diss song yeah, but I'm saying, like, if she fucked up Freddie Gibbs' music for me, like, I can't even listen to the nigga no more. That's crazy. It's fucked up. I don't care about none of that. I'll still listen to his music. I just don't no, want to it's just, it's, I'll still stuff. listen to it. I'm saying, when it comes on, the first thought is that, oh, this shit is hard. It's like, yo, this nigga. We, we, we do not need to see 
We do not need to see no man being posted doing the bus it challenge. Like, no, we are not doing that. Please. Nigga should have never took it. What are you taking that picture for? Is all I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's some nasty work like, too. Why? Like, were you were you having shorty check for hemorrhoids or something? Like <laughs> No, I'm serious. They gotta be a logical. You just can't be like, hey yo, babe. Like, yeah, that nigga had to be like, yo, my, my asshole. You're like, yo, my shit burning. Can you look to see what happened to it? So, <laughs> so like, like honestly, the only thing. Like, this is one of the things where if a nigga really came out and just said something and be like, yo, only way that bitch got a picture of me because I was going through this, then it's like, all right, but you ain't even going to address it? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's too embarrassing. Yeah, no. I was going to wait till after the intro to really go into that because I actually happened to see that bullshit on my timeline. Nigga, you see the worst, most horrible shit on your timeline. No, no, I, I don't see none of this timeline. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see the Drake pick. That was, that was the first, I didn't see that Drake shit. <laughs> I didn't see that. That's, I don't, that's I don't, the one thing you didn't see. Like, my I didn't even see that. My post. timeline is full of hoes. That's all I got. My, my timeline full of violence and fights and fuckery. And even I don't see the shit Pat be seeing. I seen a nigga in... Get, in prison, get dunked in a damn toilet. Oh, and I, I, just, I just saw that. I just saw that. I saw that too. That shit was hilarious. Did yeah. y'all see that? Y'all see that's the shit I be seeing on my time. Bro. You, you seen that video of that nigga getting like Molly Watt with a microwave and a mop bucket and all that shit? Nah, I didn't see that. What yeah. the fuck? They look at the police academy fight scene. Is it <laughs> six, niggas, six niggas jump one nigga? They beat him with everything they could find in the jail cell. I mean, I mean, hey, you know, you know. Hold on, niggas, hold on, like, niggas in jail got microwaves? Nigga, I don't know where the fuck he got a microwave, a trash can, a mop bucket, poured it on him, smacked <laughs> him with the bucket. It was crazy. This is as bad as that video that was posted on the Kali, like, maybe eight years ago, where they jumped some nigga in Atlanta in the street. And then a motherfucker threw a loose tire at him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it beats like that. <laughs> nigga picked up a tire. <laughs> I mean, it straight up beats like that, yo. Some, yo, some, you know, some beef is just it, you gotta take it there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that shit felt like I was watching like a play through a final fight or something. Like, oh, picks up tire, <laughs> and the nigga carried it across the streets. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you got to do it sometimes, man. Sometimes you got uh, yeah, to make sure that nigga stays down. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. facts, man. <laughs> but yo, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? Conscious Pilot, the West Coast Avenger, number one contender. Let's get it. Let's fly. Ring your radio. There we go. Conscious Pilot stays <laughs> up and above the clouds and shit. And last, but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what's good? You already know what the fuck it is. Chicago's on, nigga. Southside. Shout out Kanye. I was just in a Kanye loophole this morning. I'm like, yo, what happened to this nigga, yo? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Even as the music started getting more, like, crazy, it was getting better. Like, even in the fucking Yeezus, when he came out with the Yeezus album, yeah. it was all odd. But it was still, like, great music. Like, he fell off when he started with that Jesus shit. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's what when you're mentally ill and depressed, which is what he is. You know, he's manic and he's a depressor, and he makes too much fucking money. So it indulged. So you know, he kind of uh, and probably did, and he had. Although he has a father, was I, I don't know how much of his life he was in, but yeah, you know, when when you know when his mother died, you know, that's you know that dude. He he went off the deep end and never we came in. back. I don't check for you since Jesus. I, I'll be honest. Like I, I did hear some of the live stream of his new album. Some of it sounded decent, but I didn't really listen, like really check for him since Jesus. That's just me. I mean, Don Donda was great music, but I don't know. It's like it's like now that when he drops shit, it's like, man, what the fuck you got now? Type shit. It's not. It's not on like oh Kanye dropped. It's like no, man, Donda was terrible. Ugh. Like, yeah, I couldn't watch with Donda. Like it, it, it was long and terrible. I was like Jesus. It only had like four good songs on that shit. Like, probably that's the third. He probably listened to the third version. The first version of Donda was pretty hard, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I, I can't keep up with these multiple versions. That's like niggas saying, "Yo, man, I don't fuck with Ring Game podcast, but uh, I, I like third season." Like what? No, I mean, that's, I just don't commute, it, nigga. It, like. I mean, Donda really? was like two hours and ten fucking minutes. I mean, I listened to that shit on a whole drive back from a great, you know, mu- a great music. Hey, have you ever woke? It looks in. You gotta listen to Donda on like you gotta wake up on a Sunday morning and be like, I'm not listening to gospel, but I'm listening to this Kanye shit. 
And I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, it's the perfect album for like Sunday morning running errands. It's, it's good. It's good. I don't need Aaron. I could hum that shit to myself. I don't need like Aaron soundtrack. No, it's not Aaron. It's it's like uplifting, spiritual. It's like being in church without being in church. It's like being in church but being outside of church. Nah, see, you see how this nigga dresses. This nigga, this nigga dresses like he's in Scientology. This nigga ain't holy, bruh. You see how this nigga be dressing? <laughs> nigga be dressing in big ass orthopedic shoes and his, and his new. Hey, hey, hey leave, leave the orthopedic shoes alone. Nigga. Did, did y'all they, gotta, cop, they, did they serve y'all a purpose, the, nigga. Too. Did y'all cop off the Yeezy commercial or what? Y'all seen it, right? The what? The Yeezy commercial during the Super Bowl. Uh, no, nigga, no, I ain't watched this fucking Super Bowl. The oh, Yeezy. I know you didn't watch it, you nigga. You you was watching, you was baking cookies, nigga. I know you wasn't. Nigga, nigga. I was at the park, nigga. I dude, dude, spent <laughs> Valentine's at the park training, Super Bowl park training, gym. Like he was, he, he was I, doing I, all this I, bullshit. I, I, he, he was watch, he was watching that timer hit zero. Like, but Super Bowl, you need to be in the house. Actually, like feigning some interest in watching this damn football. I'm like, nah, I'm yeah, sorry, I was fucking. But that's I was working cool. on my jump shot. I was. I think it was watching the glow. Of, he was watching the glow of the oven. That was, <laughs> and fuck y'all, whole ass nigga. nigga I, I ain't do, and see, that's one of the reasons why I don't even bake no more because motherfuckers got jokes like with the, <laughs> with the baking. No, nah, no, nah, you do do. My sister be reminding me. She be like, hey, like. Yo, I, I you don't make cheesecake from scratch no more. Like even my pops, my pops used to get, he used to tell my ex wife like, you don't Yo, need so, an oven for cheesecake, do you? Yes, the, yes, yes. You could bake cheesecakes in the oven. Yes, yes, yes. What the fuck? This Nigga used to literally tell tell Shorty like, hey, did did Jay bake a uh, uh, cheesecake for you yet? Like you, he used to put it in put it in her head on some like, yo, this nigga don't really fuck with Damn. you if he ain't bake for you. Damn, I'm like, Pat, I'm in this bitch this shit. Hey, yo, cookie jokes kept this nigga out the kitchen, nigga. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, hey, man, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it's, y'all, nigga. The cookie. Jokes I mean, I, I, I mean, I pick, I pick the, I pick the least masculine thing, and Nick could be doing that. He's not watching football during the Super Bowl, nigga. Hey, nigga, the cookies is super masculine, Listen, nigga. He, but you, you gotta. You, I ain't gonna lie. Even bitches is watching the Super Bowl this year, nigga. With Taylor Swift. Fuck them hoes, nigga. <laughs> with Taylor Swift and Ice Spice in the crowd, they had even. Nah, bitches doing parlays. You no, know, I mean, bitches. Yeah, bitches, like, bitches do watch Super Bowl. Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're doing parlays and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, That's some hoes, nigga. Girl, I'm training, nigga. Listen, whatever girl starts doing parlays, I'm telling Taylor, nigga, send me a link. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, but yeah, I mean, like, so you can do. It. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I understand that, you know. Sometimes, you know, because the Valentine's Day is a white man's holiday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would celebrate that pagan shit, nigga. I celebrate busting niggas on the court. And bah, bah, bah. Yeah, but and, no, and, but but at Super Bowl, your ass needs to be in the house eating and just and just you know and just saying like, um, yeah, yeah, that nigga ran that shit ten yards. Work, work, and clap, nigga. Nah, I see, I don't know. I ain't the kids. I'm kind of beefing with the kids because I, I I cook the pizza in the oven. And the, the, the goddamn um, what's the thing? The metal shit you got the pizza on that shit burned my fucking bicep. That shit left up like a mark. <laughs> that shit like I want to drop that shit. Like fucking Jesus! Like how did that nigga, shit get all the way up there? Kitchen. How did that shit get all the way up there, nigga? Was you delivering? I know, right? I be doing stupid <laughs> shit, nigga. I don't know, like. Was hey, you sound like Rodney. Like, nigga, how the fuck you cut yourself there, nigga? Like, <laughs> how you, yeah, that is a good nigga, did you put your things. whole arm in the oven? How the fuck you get a burn on your bicep? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? The, the pan is big, nigga. I had to close it. The pan, the nigga said, did you put your whole arm in the oven? <laughs> Oh my god. I mean sometimes you know slow you know slow people be doing that sometimes though putting the whole yeah, arms I'm and retarded shit. or some shit. Dude, I don't like that. Like I'd be, be off on certain shit, but god damn like Yo, but uh, but Super Bowl though, I mean I knew Super Bowl was kinda mid when niggas were talking about the, the halftime show more than the football. Like that was the shit that was trending more. I mean personally I, yeah, I that's I, all I, I heard did. about. Yeah, well, the how, do think, how do you think Usher did? How do you think Usher did though? I mean, Usher did his thing. I'm not gonna. I mean, I know my homegirl that was she. She was telling me like she, she didn't like it, but I mean, the nigga. I mean, one thing though. I mean, Usher had hits. Like you know, you have to understand yeah. Usher. You know, everyone knows at one point Usher was probably one of the biggest artists in the world, if not the artist for that brief period. You know what I'm saying? He's an like, R&B. He's an R&B goat. I don't care what you know. To me, he's an R&B goat. Yeah, and like I said, because the because the game wasn't hitting. Like shout out to Marquise just saying, yeah, the game was not hitting at all. 
No, there was the second half was the second half was good, but yeah, the first half was kind of boring. the first half was trash. And then then Usher, you know, you know, I mean, granted, all all them Space Odyssey two thousand one costumes was kind of weird, and and Jermaine Dupri needs to be ashamed of himself. Like so, someone told that nigga that shit he was wearing was hot. Yeah, like this right. nigga came out here. With some, with hey, everybody, hold on. Everybody thought he was CeeLo Green at first. He got clown for it, but at least he, I saw him post about he, it, make, you know, he, make a joke, joke about himself. So that nigga looked like a 2024 Mortal Kombat character when he. That nigga looked like Shirley, like a ghetto Shirley, Shirley Temple. Like who the fuck is like, like who told this nigga this nigga could wear a jumper and shit? That nigga looked like a San Francisco superhero when he came out. <laughs> <nigga>. <laughs> 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 uh, <clears throat> hold on, real, real quick, the uh, chat, real quick. Uh, hey, what, what it do? Salute, um, um, Anthony Mazzano. What it do? Hey, what it do? Miss Rashley, chilling, chilling. Um, trying to go back real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. All the people that got hurt and, and killed in the victory parade. Yeah, yeah. It, it was all uh, kids. That's so. Fu- I mean, it, it fucked up anyway. But I hear it's like it was mainly kids that got shot at in that attack. Yeah, there's uh, at least ten oh, shots. Like know, it was mainly for- all kids. Like what the fuck? Like 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 five through sixteen. Like, that's some insane. Yeah, it's, a, it's fucked up world. Man. Yeah, it, it, but no, Kansas City gets funny too because I think it was like all gang related shooting or whatever. Because I remember there was a video that I saw. Like where I guess two people in the crowd managed to tackle one of the shooters and shit. Like you know. Yeah, I seen some videos like that. I was like, oh shit, damn! Like this yeah, shit was like, crazy. Fucking, you know, knuckleheads out there. It's like you you're there to watch a team celebrate a team winning a fucking Super Bowl. Not for you to air out your, you know, your stupid concerns and shit like that. Like what the fuck? Like what the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah, it's like it's getting to the point in America. Time and place. Time and place. Y'all niggas didn't look for them niggas all weekend, but as soon as Monday hit and niggas wanna parade and shit or Tuesday, whatever, mm-hmm. y'all niggas wanna air shit out. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Cause they doing it on purpose. They, they they're trying to ruin life for civilians. Like, we get to the point you can't be at any place that has more than five hundred people. Right. Shit, a hundred people. Because right, you just never know what these niggas is gonna do. Like, you know, you do all that. Yeah. Shit, you and know, it's all like, over the country. It's not just at one point we could just at one point we'd be like, all right, you know, it's Florida. You know, Florida, Florida doing Florida. But no, it's. You know, this place, Las Vegas, is Cali, is New York, it's everywhere now. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's it a because you, know, you know the NFL's got really good tickets. You know, NFL doesn't like all that thug shit, doesn't like all that, you know, nigga shit. And, you know, so you, you know they got to take action. They, they got to make the. Like, nah, it's just the karma because no nigga team got into the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's also true. What you mean? They, <laughs> yeah, they, no, they say the Chiefs was a nigga team. Look, look, okay, I know the rule of, you know, Rocky Rocky with the somebody's always the nigga. And he used to say that shit all the time. But they only did that because somebody has to be the nigga. But you know and I know that the two real nigga teams didn't make it. Yeah, you know, in, in the NFL. It was like, put a group is the least Caucasian. It was like, uh, these niggas. That's, listen, that's why I ain't gonna lie. That's why they love that boy Mahone, because he's light enough to make their cut. He's basically the Steph Curry of the NFL. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, he, I mean, the, man, I mean, the man is half white, so that's just good enough. And he has a lily <laughs> white wife, and his children. Uh, his, his wife is the, the whitest lady. His, his wife is whiter than snow. That lady his dad's is the whitest lady I've ever his, seen in my life. His dad's an OG. Like his dad's like a you know old school nigga. Though. Yeah, yeah, his dad, dad, if I, dad, dad balances dad, it out. <laughs> his, his dad should get a DNA test. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga probably already got. Hey, did y'all see? His, did, did y'all see um, Pat Mahomes' wife jump into the running back's arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She 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 been doing too much lately. Like she ran up on him. Shut her. Look at that. Pat you see, Mahomes. you see what Mahomes happened with AB ran to the backup running back's arms. He carried her and picked her up. Uh, on some fucking uh, meeting at the airport, like long you time ago. You see what happened? Hold on, was her legs wrapped around, around him? No, but but he gave her the he he carried her and gave her the full like you know one eighty like you know carried her you know it was it, it was a little um on uh on he it did was, this with a whole nother nigga's wife. It was a no, little, Pat, no, Pat Mahomes' wife, Brittany or whatever. Jumped into the back of running back's arms and like. Well, that's how white wives get down. <laughs> yeah, God damn! Like, yo, 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 see, see, see what this usher shit is doing? Yeah. I mean, like, no, I, I, usher, I, okay, okay, the hug. Is, I, I can see the hug. Predator. That nigga's going around doing all that shit. That's usher on that shit. That but this some reverse predator shit, dude. No, no chick. 
Usher walks around with a microphone in his hand, singing, and he's looking chicks in the eyes to see which one makes contact for too long. Once she makes a little bit too long co- eye contact, the nigga runs over there. There goes my boy. <laughs> 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 that nigga like Medusa. That shit just started hypnotizing. Then you get it's a wrap. He got everybody. He was from Kiki. So he started getting the baby seal eyes. <laughs> yo, and this nigga, and the funny thing too, like Swiss Beats was like, yo, I'm, I'm cool with it. Like, I'm full, like, you know, it's like, nigga, like, you know how many millions of people watch this Usher, you know, Usher put, you know, wrap her, uh, wrap his arms around Alicia Keys. <laughs> Alicia Keys looked like she was loving that shit. And, and you know, Alicia Keys was out there looking. See, they sold that shit good, but, but it's yeah. a thing. You're singing. My boo, which is a lovely yeah. song, classic, by the way. It, it is, yo. That shit, they, that shit used to set that shit off. Yeah, that was my shit, bro, in the, in the car. Then, yeah. Um, but you, so I get the little interactions, you know. But for some reason, like the old school duets back in the day, you didn't really need all that. Like, mm-hmm. if if motherfucking damn Luther and damn um, what's his name? Sure, what's a damn shit? Farrell Lynn like, was damn singing. They, niggas want to be twerking and well, hugging no, and all that shit. No, one will be on one side of the stage, one will be on the other side of the stage, and they'll just look at each other and hit notes. That's all the fuck they'll do. <laughs> Fact. Honestly, it was almost like some Jedi R&B singing. Like it's no, like an it imaginary was, battle to see who no. singing the other. Like what I th- what I think what happened was the music started. Usher was just his little. Walked over to see how she was doing. He's like, damn, Alicia Keys look good as fuck because she looked good as hell. She did. Yeah. So he, that was, he was the best like, I seen her look in a long he was time. Like, damn, with the red dress over there. He he was thinking like every other nigga was thinking. He was like, let me go over here and see what she's smelling like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga got behind her. That's all it was. <laughs> that nigga got behind her, took a deep breath, smiled. That shit was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was and she was like, yeah, yeah, like but you I smell tell, good, she, nigga. She was looking like, nigga, you gonna get me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but, uh, but I, I didn't see any know. mannerisms that felt like she was no, like, damn, no, nigga, what you doing? No, like, if you they look at her, good. the smile was like a nervous, like, what, back up type of smile. It was like a, all right, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Like th- this is as far as you go, nigga. Like I'm only I'm only on stage for a minute and a half, nigga. Just back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, something tells me Usher is, is not a stranger to Dirty Mackin, though. That's a. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Usher must have yeah, been must have been doing that shit for the better part of 25 years. Nigga got married right after, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, hey, nigga, like, you know, this is, you know, they, they can get married, nigga. That's not going to stop the game. The game is the game, my nigga. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, if nigga got all that energy to be down, uh, uh, hugging and grinding on stage. Yeah. They get married, have half the fun, like, yo, this nigga Usher did that shit. Like, and, and a shout out to. Niggas like uh, Black Excellence. And a shout out to Luda and Lil John, still looking the same yeah, as they, they did like 20 it. years they, ago. Lil John don't lost a shitload of weight. I know this nigga's talking about he's making some motivation music or whatever based on his healthy lifestyle. Some shit is supposed to come out soon or whatever. I mean, it's gonna be looking. It's gonna look real. Di- I mean, compared to what the shit they used to put out in his prime, you know, it's like. I mean, I don't know if I'm, if I'm you know, if I'm ready to hear some subdued uh, hippie version of Lil John. You know, listen, yeah, fun out the other on, day too. Real, real, real quick, hey, shout, y'all, out, y'all shout, out, shout out to her's fine ass. Yeah, oh, shout out to her's fine, fine ass. She was fine. She was playing, fine. playing the guitar. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, some people were saying she was she was faking it. it. Some people were some people were saying she wasn't. Really I playing. don't care if she was faking it. She <laughs> looked <laughs> fine as hell. Doing. She, she was fine. She got talent too. I'm yo, just yo, saying. yo, real. Like, yo, no one gives a damn about. Like that's the thing. Like y'all have a fine woman in front of you, and y'all niggas are focusing and keep playing the guitar. Y'all niggas have a fine woman in front of you. Motherfuckers be like, "Damn, her pinky toenail isn't is is partially painted." Like, get the fuck out of here. Who cares? Like, god damn, niggas kill me with this shit. Yo, real quick, y'all niggas been around to see like thirty five Super Bowls or some shit like that. Forty Super Bowls. I would have fucked. Well, where is where? Where not, is not, it? Yo, not that many Super Bowls. We ain't that old. <laughs> I mean, where, the first the first one I saw the first one I saw was in eighty nine. You know what I mean? Damn. Damn. Old ass niggas. That so, 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 where does this Usher performance compare to all of the other performances you've seen? 
I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't anything great. I mean, it's it not, was, it's it, was, not, it was trash, wasn't it? It was trash. Yeah, I mean, it, was, honest, it wasn't man. Michael Jackson. I mean, that's that's the best one I've seen in my lifetime, bro. Michael, it, it I'm like, dude, that's Michael Jackson. I feel, like, I feel like The weekend went crazy, went way crazier than Usher did. Nah, I mean, that's Prince. I mean, truthfully, the, only, the memorable ones I know is either that and, of course, the one where Janet got her titty exposed, nigga. Those are the yeah, ones that, that I, one and when I think that's the last Super Bowl I've seen a lot. <laughs> I enjoyed Prince's halftime show when he did it. I enjoyed Bruno Mars. Uh, a couple of people I enjoyed, but, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, like, uh, Dr. Dre and them, they went hard. You know what I'm saying? That, that was hard. I mean, yeah, Dr. no, but Dre but 50 looked like a fat ass yeah, animal hanging one. upside down. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit didn't look But right. I mean, you know, seeing Snoop Dogg, I mean, come on, it's kind of cool to see, you know, because I was young. Snoop Dogg was the most popular rapper. It was kind of cool to see him Snoop up there, you know. But it was, it was also the first one with Jay Z taking control of the shit, so. <laughs> I bet you Taylor Swift's gonna be doing a Super Bowl like in probably next year or two. You know, this is all, and, uh, and that'll be a halftime show. I skip like share. That, yeah, that's a, that's a story. That's a story. it'll be the one. Yeah, that's the thing with Taylor Swift. Like, she's super popular, but it's it's all white people. Like, like if they ah man, like I don't know if that'll go over well. Well, I mean, like, did Ice Spice come off? You gotta select their ass. Did Ice Spice come off like she was the token black friend? It, yeah, she was. She was a token. She <laughs> fine as hell, but she's a token. Why? Yeah, I mean, I mean, all I know is that it wasn't as bad as the one like five years ago where it was like reggaeton a halftime show. The shit was pissing me the fuck off. Is that like, the one with J Lo, Shakira, and all of them? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I mean, Shakira was kind of good though. I mean, she, you know, Shakira was kind of that shit was good because they was both just shaking their ass on stage. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, I, I had flashbacks to the to the to the days, bro. When I was out there in them clubs, nigga, and I used to say, I was like, God damn it!" And I was probably pissed with because. I think I think it was the first 49ers to Chiefs Super Bowl. I think I, it might have been that. Yeah, it might have been that. It might have been that one with been Mahomes one. and them. Like, and I remember I was like, God damn, this shit is terrible. Like, this shit, this shit is bringing back memories. Like, you know, it was like when I set my <laughs> ass down. Yo, 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 this, yo, Anthony got away. Yo, yo, fuck that. Pat was old enough to see the Super Bowl halftime show for the undefeated Miami Dolphins in '72. Oh, Yo, whatever, whatever, bro. Yo, who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? He's seen the the rap and to Miss Rashid, yeah, you're right. The Rihanna one, I wasn't a fan. And I like Rihanna's music, you know. But yeah, her being pregnant and stuff, it wasn't very, it was very forgettable. Because she was pregnant. <laughs> Look, I've never seen no pregnant before. Because she was sir. pregnant as fuck and nobody wanted to see a pregnant woman perform. That, that's what it is. I ain't trying to see a pregnant woman twerk. You wanted, to see, you wanted to see skinny Rihanna no. get on her hands and knees and start, on the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see. I don't want to. Yo, you, you pregnant? Sit your ass down when, somewhere. When you see it with a yeah. baby in there, it's like a little sign of respect. It's like, all right, salute, salute. <laughs> you got to show the respect. Had the usher didn't do. You remind me of your lovers and friends, but he got a lot of hits, so it's whatever. But yeah, uh, you yeah, remind I me. I mean, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, the that was was meant to at least move on. I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, you couldn't have a full blown concert like yeah, that. You, you, know, you, you had to get back yeah. to the football, which which did yeah. really improve after that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Taylor Swift shit won't work because not enough people know her song. Only white people know them songs. Don't say that. Don't say no. that, nigga. She sold the most albums ever this year and last year. White year people. Before. Nigga, somebody's buying them, and it's not white people's. Not white the majority. people. They're not the majority no more. So yes, they are. Buying. No, it's not. No, they're not. Wh white people just ain't reproducing like that. They still the majority. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, but, but, but no, but seriously though, Ro Rome is Rome is white though because white people. Because I've I've had two encounters with hardcore Taylor Swift fans. Like they were obsessive, like, and they were you know they were white. They were white as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like nobody, dude, dude. Like, and there was I seen a tweet like maybe a couple weeks ago and. And some chick was saying like, and yeah, it's kind of funny. Miss Rashid said too, like I don't know one Swift song, and she was comparing Taylor Swift to to um Britney Spears, and she was like, it just felt like Britney Spears was bigger, and it was like, yeah, because her music kind of crossed over with the producers and the features, and yeah, she you heard her on Urban movie. Radio, yeah, she was yeah, but Netflix. Netflix, uh, and I know that with Taylor Swift. They literally kept her away, like yo. We fucking with no niggas. We ain't gonna get you in no hood radio. Britney, radio. Britney no. was a whore. Niggas like whores. <laughs> I mean, true, but she fit, she fit the she fit the hip hop marketplace. Like rappers would be like, yo, who you want to fuck? Yeah, oh, Mar Marquise, I literally, I 
Marquise is the same. I literally only know two Taylor Swift songs, and I don't even know the names of them. I just know uh, what like they sound I'm not like. Gonna, so. I don't know any of her songs. I'm not gonna. Right, I don't know any of them. I could name a Katy Perry song yeah. before I could name yeah. a fucking Taylor Swift. Shake it off. 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 No, shake it off. Shake It Off is the only one I can name off the top of my head. The other one that I know, I don't even know the name of it. I just know how it goes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, where is I, I haven't heard enough of her music to even know how it goes. Like, <laughs> she's, cheer, I, she's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. <laughs> I, guess, I can't listen to no fucking soccer mom music, nigga. Right. Is that the name of the? Is that, is that how the song goes? <laughs> yeah, that's how the song goes. I, I don't even know, know what the fuck it is called. Though. Yo, what the fuck? She's a cheer captain. Know, and I'm on the bleachers. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you fucking do a terrible. I know. It was, uh, <laughs> I was just like, knew he was a killer. First time that I saw him, and that's all I know. Like, I'm like, I don't know the fucking rest. <laughs> I don't even know song. Her cadence is trash. Like, all of us got the same cadence that she uses. Her cadence is trash as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, she'll she'll, she'll be in the <laughs> halftime show because now you know, like. Now they, like, they'll figure something about Pat, right? Yeah, because you know NFL NFL got a stimulus by having her because you know any, any, anything related to her got stimulus. The NFL, Travis Kelsey. Now they, I don't even want to like, hear Travis Kelsey's name anymore. You know, I, don't you know what, I think they'll do a melody you know because I think to I Taylor think, Swift for like thirty minutes. Come on, I think Taylor Swift got paid more to be at the Super Bowl than Usher did. Uh, I, I, I believe oh, it. Nigga. I can believe that. Yeah, she made like three sixty mil. She ain't making like three hundred sixty million for the for the NFL, right? So it's kind of like, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. crazy. I don't know how popular how she got so popular, but whatever. She's it white. That's how she got yeah, popular. We, just keep te- we keep telling y'all she white. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is she's white. I'm just saying, there's, there's, there's white celebrities that ain't that have been more talented, haven't been as popular. I mean, I mean she's good, she's wholesome. She doesn't have any real scandals except, you know, the her record company kind of like jerking her once, you know, telling her that like, she couldn't like uh, release music before, so she had her like record all her. Old Tell me that Kanye shit. Speaking, speaking of Kanye, like that. Tell me that Kanye shit didn't didn't make it blow her up though. I feel like. I think it definitely gave her a boost. No, because she already was winning shit before. She was, she was, but I'm saying she was. But it gave her a boost. Like it definitely for put like, a spotlight on her. For niggas to know her, nobody yeah. knew her except nobody knew her as nothing except the girl that beat Beyonce and nigga and nigga town. Nobody knew her except the girl that beat Beyonce and the girl that Kanye snapped on. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, white I mean, people, I mean, white I mean, people I mean, were outraged. I, They're like, "How dare you talk to Taylor like that?" <laughs> I mean, no, you know, what's, what's over that shit. Yeah. No I matter who's this that black man from 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 a a white show. Listen, she was so big that after Kanye did that, they banned this nigga from award shows for years. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That's how big she was then, nigga. Yeah, who yeah, who is that uppity Negro, you know, you know, hassling yeah. a white queen? And she was like, probably like what? Like seventeen or sixteen or some dumb shit. Yeah, like yeah, Kanye had to do a whole apology, I think, or some shit like that, because because yeah, that was when that nigga was on some real time. Uh, you see me, you see me, I'm over here, guys. Do that type of shit. Nigga. No, like, that nigga know. snap. That nigga snap. <laughs> I, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Nigga, <laughs> that's a classic. Life of Pablo, a classic. Nigga. Honestly, that that's when that's when it was like she lost me because she played the victim in that. She died. That was bullshit. She sure the fuck yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she. He told. He told. He told her he was gonna make that comment. She gave the okay, and then she turned around and just played victim. Like, I don't. I don't listen. I don't give a damn about no bad bunny. None of that. I don't listen to none of that. Like, I don't speak no Spanish. So no. Huh? <laughs> That's <to> Anthony. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. I am a I am a card carrying NHE member. No hablo español. I was about to say you were sort of worth looking little Gonzalez. <laughs> I got that earlier today with the whole Gonzalez. Uh, I look Colombian or whatever the fuck <laughs> niggas think it's going around in South Florida. You look like you look like a Griselda hitman, nigga. Like, <laughs> Wrong saying that he. Rome, Rome, low key could pass off as a uh, as a Honduran. No, they call me Dominican. Every, they call me Dominican at work. And and this is the thing, like, like one of our managers used to damn make fun of Rome, call him Ramon, 
and that nigga used to hate that shit. So he know he can pass. Because <laughs> 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 so, so, the nigga here, like, and that's the thing, like, nigga, he, uh, some of you motherfuckers gonna be like, it's no such thing as good hair, but look, some people got good hair, motherfucker. It's shit. Like the nigga got good hair, so niggas, motherfuckers be just joking about this shit. See, look at this. <laughs> he does look like a, he does look like a Ramon. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, he does look like hola. <laughs> like, he sounds sound like one of those hola. hola. Like, say, like with the, yeah, like them like uh, Jamaican Spanish dudes around here. We got like, como, como we, we, like look at Nicholas Walters. <laughs> like we got like over like over here. I, I say that like that purposely because like over here in New York, we got a lot of Panamanians that like they're Panamanian, but they're like of West Indian descent. So when they speak, like, they basically speak like they're speaking Patois, but Patois Spanish. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> that must sound crazy to listen to. It, it, it does. If you hear, if you hear Nicholas crazy. Walter's interviews, you could kind of low-key hear because he speaks, he can speak Spanish and he's a Patois. Yeah, I remember that shit. It almost comes off like a Trini, Trini um, dialect almost. Like, it, how they be sounding... Yeah. Damn it, nigga! Did you, did you have to say Trini G's? Shit! No, like this is no, the tr- they cool. Like they be they be down here. Shit. Nigga, my ex was Trini. I, I was like, I'm all things to say. Like God, nigga, man, everybody man. got a damn Trini X or the Island X, a Jamaican X, Haitian X, whatever. Like nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, well, I, I haven't had that many exes, but you know, at least that's just you just having to bring up for one. <laughs> I, was work, like, I was at work. This dude told me that he got married to a Trini girl, and then after six months, she just took his baby and went back to the country. And now man, he got to get married. Now he got to get, get, nah, get, get, to get his night. kid back. He married. Pat, he married get, her and all that. Pat, just <laughs> get you a nice African girl and settle the fuck down already. God, I know. <laughs> Now, sit no your old ass me. down. Stop going to damn events and shit, nigga. Sit your old ass down. Now, don't, don't worry about ass, I, I'll try, be all right. Try to niggas. find or try to find the one you could do. A, go to a speed dating event like I did. Fun, fun <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, we got to hear. Let me hit these comments real quick. But we got here right about that. Um, Young Kim busted out them calls. Taylor was in agreement with that stunt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Oh my god! What do you guys think of the movie Griselda? The sh- they, they, we, we talked about it the other day. Uh, I think Rome was watching. He, he was fucking with it. Uh, I, I fuck with it too. The only thing though, I I know they purposely. Yeah, did I feel like out. I feel like I feel like they made her too sexy. Yeah, yeah, because you know, she wasn't that. She was not that. She if wasn't you see the real Griselda, that bitch look like she can arm wrestle the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looks like she makes some like fire, like you know, ceviche or some shit. Oh. And, and then plus though, they 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 omitted the whole thing where you know she was messing around with a nigga too, like when she was in prison. Like you, they used to come up for conjugal visits and then kind of broke her off with her drug connects. They didn't they didn't put none of that shit in there. You know? And that seemed like a big part. Like when if you do a show like that and you don't add it because everybody kept asking why y'all took that part out, why y'all. Are they planning on doing a season two, or it got wrapped up in season uh, it one? Got, it, got, it got wrapped up. I, I guess they didn't want to portray her a certain way, but she's still suing, so they portrayed she, her the wrong way anyway. Yeah, she, they, I mean, they'll portray her as like, yeah, killer. Then, then, then that's a wasp thing, because if y'all didn't put that element in the story, and y'all not doing a season two, y'all really just kind of like dropped the ball. They got that quick Netflix bag. They didn't know to drop the ball. Them niggas made a couple mil and got yeah. out. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that's the thing. It's like the show, a show like that, if you do something, if you admit something, if you omit something that glaring, that show only going to buzz for a couple weeks. And then most people find out you left shit it, out. Exactly. And they make, that's, what, that's why they it, dropped, it. it dropped out of the top 10 within like the first yeah, few days. That bitch was out. a stone cold killer. Who the fuck cares? Like, oh, my, oh suing her. Inaccurate. Like, shit. Be thankful. Could have been worse. They could have betrayed you worse. Which right. really was. Yeah, they, they tripping with the whole the Michael Corleone. Do, is he a factor in Miami? Are those Miami Vice Scarface drug lord days? Man, that motherfucker was this shit. Like, dude, dude, you gotta name your son Michael Corleone Jr. Like, I mean, they were wilding out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see, like you, when you when you're sniffing that much coke, you wild out, son. You know, that's a, from yeah, you really wilding out. 
I ain't naming my kids after no goddamn imaginary gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, I probably would be racist to your ass. Like, right? Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna name a dick Kaiser Sose soon. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, no cocaine cowboys as well. That's what's gross and real. <laughs> Her son won his lawsuit. Damn, she, he won already? Fuck! Yeah, he felt, he felt like he took liberties with her story, you know, shit like that. But he, but she's saying this nigga won though, like, yeah, that's that's quick as fuck, damn. Yeah, and uh, it is. You, you are right, kind of. The funny thing about them naming them naming a group after uh, a Colombian, where a lot of Colombians are racist towards black people. They don't even like their own black. No, I, I thought it was a great name. That's why I fucked with it because I'm like. When I looked up when them niggas came out, I'm like, what the fuck is Griselda? Why do I keep hearing that fucking name? And I looked it up. I'm like, okay, that makes sense for some cocaine cowboy type ass niggas. <laughs> y'all, oh, y'all, y'all name yourself after an old, ugly, washed bitch. It's, it's, hard, it's, it's hard for a group name. It's hard yeah, for, for a group name. It is kind of dope. Did y'all watch the show on Netflix or no? I, I tried to watch yeah. the first minutes, but I just can't watch. I can't watch it. That's what we were literally it talking was, about. This nigga says the joke. It was, it was her fucking too much. It's like, yo, lady, are you are you concerned about being the biggest one or fucking your body? Oh, uh, see, now you answered your okay. Now you answered your cheeks. You said she was fucking too much, right? Right. That's why you don't have the story about the black guy in there. Yeah, because he would have been fucking. <laughs> and they not trying to have no damn that's what they cause I bet I bet niggas would be lined up around the block to fucking audition for that part. Oh <laughs> right. Cause look, yeah, so the nigga the nigga that the girl top tier Latina. The nigga that the nigga that, top, yes, the the nigga but, that, um, the nigga that was I mean she ain't no sound behind but we gonna stop no, right no, there. No, yeah, no, we know that. We know that. She was sneaking around fucking her bodyguard the whole show. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, did, did y'all hear about the Vince Staples show? Any, any y'all check that yet? I'm about to I'm about to watch it. I can't wait. I, I just seen it pop up earlier. Let them know, know in the chat how it goes because I I, I kind of I like I like Vince Staples. But Listen, Vince Staples is dope, and I wouldn't. Uh, it's I, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. I feel like it's gonna be like a better version of Atlanta with a nigga that I actually care about watching. But hold on, I heard it's like a re, uh, like it's not like a it's like a one of those it looks living like color type of shows. Like it looks a, like Atlanta, like. They look more like the odd future shit than no, Atlanta. Because I feel like, you know, you know what it reminds me of? Dave, but for niggas. Hmm. You know hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all seen Dave. It's about like his real life, but like how he's about it in his neighborhood type shit. How he's looked about, how he's looked at by his peers, by his people he used to grow up with, his family, his girl, shit like that. But in his new, in his life that he's living. Like Dave, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, I'll check that. I'll, I'll check that show out though. But I gotta watch my violent shit first. I gotta watch. This, I gotta watch this ninja shit first. Yeah, it looks it looks hella comedy. And if, and if you don't like Vince Staple music, you're probably not gonna like it. Cause I like Vince Staple music when the fucking the intro got me. I'm like, yeah, I'll fuck with it. Yeah, I haven't listened to any new Vince Staple, but I remember he did make an album several years ago that I thought was pretty dope. Uh, he had a lot of them African drums and shit. Yeah, he was just—he was just on the Earl album that you love, nigga. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I don't love nothing about no Earl Jacket or whatever the fuck his nigga name is. <laughs> you be listening to that nigga. But yo, yo, P. Oh damn, P. Just disconnected too. I was say, yo, tell us about that speed dating. We'll, we'll get back to the speed dating when he comes back. I'm sure. Yeah, no, the fuck it. That's yeah, me how, dating. How, how was the rest of y'all Valentine's Day, nigga? I mean, she was cool, bro. She was cool. You like, you know, like that's that, that's what I gotta say. Nigga. It sounds spoken like a true player. What about you, pilot? <laughs> you know, every day is every day is Valentine's Day. It's all love. Yeah. Oh, this nigga, this nigga sounds like, like a sounds like a real nigga. Yeah, that nigga sounds like oh, that, that, that that's a real nigga like, answer. <laughs> Oh shit, yo! All right, so there you go, P. Okay, P. Just disconnected. I was about to say, yo, talk about your speed dating, bro. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so uh, this year for Valentine's Day, I decided to do something different that I'd never done before. Pause, pause, this, this please. Pause. Also like, double pause. Come on, nigga. <laughs> no. Um, and I had seen an ad, and I was like, it's talking about speed dating, and I was like, you know what? I've heard a lot about this. I've seen it in movies. I've never actually done it. I'm not doing anything on a Wednesday night. So I'm going to try it. Quick, so quick I, question. I signed quick up. Quick question, P. 
Is it like that up. shit that be on YouTube where them niggas be in the white room and they just keep walking up to each other or not? Uh, it's not like that. I mean, I don't know what it's like on YouTube, but it's not that. Oh, it's, okay. You're okay, sitting okay. in sections and you rotate. So you rotate from one woman to the next and just start talking to them. Um, I don't, every format is different, but like for this one, you got three minutes. So three minutes to, to talk to all the women in the room and then figure out if you're a match. So I signed up like the day before. Uh, so they knew I was coming. They uh, I put me on the list. I got there, checked in. Uh, there was supposed to be more women than men, and that turned out to not be the case. But whatever. Was it was um, it light skinned niggas or dark skinned niggas? What was the crowd looking like? Th- there was it was mainly white and Indian dudes. Like there was a couple <laughs> of black. They looking for yeah. There range. was like. That arranged man. There was, <laughs> <laughs> there was, how, was the, how was the quality of female? Let's be real. Let's, let's keep it. So, yeah, y'all ask about no. light skinned niggas and dark. What the fuck? How was the quality of female? Yeah. How many, <laughs> what the, what the bitches look like? Old, old, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me a number. So, so the way, probably answering, asking the real questions. Yes. No. So, so I, I'm gonna get to that part. I definitely gonna get to that part. So, it was 21 women. I got a number. I was my number was 17. So. I started at table section 17 with the first woman and then rotated every three minutes until I got to 16. How was the first one? How did the first one make you feel about the shit, nigga? The first one was a friendly white girl from Staten Island. She was nice. Not really my type. She was nice. She was nice. (laughs) Oh, so she's a four. Uh, three or four. Yeah, I would say a a, a four. A four is about right. Um, yeah, I, I know. So, look, look, like I, said, I, I know nigga. I know nigga tree. When a nigga says she's not really my type, she's not attractive. Well, no. When you when you said friendly, yeah, that's, that's the five at, at she's best. She's friendly. <laughs> when you said friendly, it's a five at best. No, no, no. no. I, I, I'll, I'll say I'll give her more than a three. I say I'll say a four is about right. So, just like said it, it's it's fine. She like I said, she, at least she was friendly. So then I moved over. Mind you, okay. Now I'm getting mad because I asked because. What we had was we have to we have to get a pamphlet uh, with a pen so we could write down notes and write down all the women's names and whatever notes we want to write down. Everybody got one except for me. And I asked for one and I didn't get one. So now I'm like, okay, what's like, going on? You ain't going to need this shit. You ain't going to be toes. <laughs> no, but I wanted it like because to write down all the notes. So yeah. I, I didn't get it the first time. Three minutes is up. I'm like, okay, let me just go to the next one. Hopefully, like, they'll bring it to me eventually. I get to the next one, and this one is fine. Like, this woman is fine. I'm like, and first thing she's like, I, I introduced myself, and she's like, where's your pen and pamphlet? I'm just like, oh, my. Like, now I'm here looking stupid because this dumb bitch that set up the thing didn't want to give me the pamphlet when I asked. Like, I asked for it. I don't know where it is. Thankfully, I waved the assistant, and she got me a pamphlet. So it started off on the wrong foot. You make me look stupid, right? Like, nigga, I would have got up on my ass and damn went and got one of them shits, nigga. You up here thinking you had you you, you had a restaurant trying to flag motherfuckers down, like like well, you, you see this person? I'm, 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 I got what's the what's the pamphlet for? What the fuck you need a pamphlet for? To write because to write pamphlet notes is to write stuff. So I write down all the names next to the section that they're at and whatever notes I want to write down afterwards. This shit sound like so, school um, work. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, school ass shit. Yeah, no, this, this is no, this is very this was very old. Y'all fuck or not? So, but, no, I'll just play it. <laughs> no, 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 we weren't we weren't Get we to were the fucking part. To <laughs> so no, we were not allowed to exchange numbers. That was what? that was not how. What? Yeah. So what is the out. fucking point? Wait, you supposed to get how it works? Four numbers and that. Shit. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold. Yeah, let me talk, like, bro. Go so, ahead. I'm, I'm go sorry, cause like you ain't a good storyteller yeah. sometimes. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. gonna go mute. I'm sorry. No, all good, all good, all good. Afterwards, how it was supposed to work was after we go through all 21 women. Uh, we have at the in the back of the pamphlet is the website because th- there's a website that we were signed up to when we applied to to come to the event. They already had our names up on the website and everything. Like they created an account for us, and so all you had to do was go log on. There's your name, and then you could upload your picture, and it'll show you 
all of the men and women that were there at the event and it'll say match or not a match and you can go look and that's where the pamphlet was for you could write down all the names so i'm like okay I, this name this name okay this is that person and match or not a match so i just put all the women that i matched with that i, that I thought were a match for me and i put the match where how it works is if you both match each other it'll tell you that it's a mutual match and it will give you their email and then you can reach out to them there and then exchange numbers exchange whatever info so nigga, that's how was, they did. what was this a mark zuckerberg speed dating event nigga? <laughs> yeah Dog, this, yo, they sucked out all the fun from this shit and made it too complicated like, like yeah. bro like nigga, you got no what like them niggas, y'all niggas all could have just got on fucking so, Tinder and done that I will so so here's some other things. So I'll say this. Some, some other notes about the thing. I was I was very old compared to a lot. These women were all in their twenties. Like it went in the in the thing, the speed dating thing said for twenties and thirties. And everybody was like in their twenties for the most part. And like mid to low twenties, like 23, 24, 25. So I'm niggas- here 34. Cause nigga, nigga I'm 30s here, is married, nigga. That's why, nigga. Cause I'm, I'm here. Like, how old are you? I'm like, they too dated enough to try some shit like this. Yeah, and they're like, oh, and this was the thing. Like every, everyone told me, oh, oh you're 34, man. You look so young. I, I had no idea you was that young. That you was that old. How do you? What's your secret? How do, you, how do you keep looking so young? What's your skincare routine? I'm like, oh yeah. my goodness. Of course, of course like, they got the light skin nigga. For what? Skincare routine. <laughs> I don't have yeah, no skin. I mean, it, it happens. Like, I don't, don't have no skin. Are you the little bleaching cream with a little I don't have no blood? skincare routine. Like, a low face rub and, you know, a moisturizer and uh, serum. Yeah, I don't. I do not have no. This I just. Nigga, I have King good P. jeans. That's what I said. I have good jeans. This nigga King um, P was at speed dating, giving from, beauty tips. From, seven, from eighteen to twenty, to, from eighteen to twenty-one, all of them were fine, and one of them was actually uh, like really fine, and she was from Miami. She was from Miami too. She moved. <sighs> she moved up here a couple of years ago. Yeah, she was fine. Not fine, Puerto Rican. Exactly. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's an um, exotical for y'all. That that's like yeah. That's that's. That stand at the beach down here. Yeah, that's like a public run, nigga. That but but like, the, so yeah, the one, that, that's a public the, sub down here, my nigga. The the one good thing was because for some, it was supposed to be twenty three women, but only two of them didn't show up. So the one thing I was able to they do found was niggas I was on like, way. one one two, <laughs> maybe. But after twenty one, twenty two and twenty three were they, those sections were empty. So when we rotated, I stayed at those sections and it was basically like a six minute break. So it allowed me to scope out the scene, look at everybody. Like I'm seeing all the sections. I'm like, okay, okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm getting everything in order. And like I got, I, I, I could, I, it gives me a little bit of time to at least plan something and just scope out everything. So I helped out a lot. Uh, unfortunately, once I got to the earlier sections, starting from section one to six, yeah, it was kind of, it was, bad like all of them were bad <laughs> like either they looked really bad had horrible personalities uh the only one was one of them but king p king p real quick this nigga. girl was real quick what was, type of what type of bitches do you expect to get at speed dating besides bitches i don't that know find nobody that can talk to somebody other than that somebody that's forced to talk to them i don't know i wasn't expecting much no because look speed dating is for like I wouldn't even see you at that shit because it's for niggas and bitches that are not good at going up to people and being like, "Hey, my name is this. This is what I like to do. What you, what you up to?" That way you don't have to speed date because you three minutes you don't really learn shit from nobody unless y'all. Right. Like, okay, what's your, what's your name? What's your age? Oh, oh okay. When did you go to school? All right, see ya. Yeah. Like who the fuck? Who the fuck trying to do that shit? Because like, even Bumble had to move that shit up for to five minutes before he got. So yeah, he's right. Yeah. Like I, like I wouldn't see. I wouldn't, that's why I don't feel like you would like move well in that event just because of all of the franticness that everybody I, I else actually, that's there. I, I actually did pretty well. It's just a matter of some of the personalities were shitty. Like I no, said, I'm talking about I, the. I'm talking about the the personnel. I'm not talking about uh, how you move in it. I'm talking about. Your your choosings, your pickings. Uh, so Slim, this was the fun. So Slim I'm gonna pickings. tell y'all the funny. So I'm gonna tell y'all the funny one. This was the funniest one. I think it was, she was like section three or four. Uh, nice little black girl. She was cute. 
Uh, but she had one, she had the septum ring, so that was uh oh. Here we go. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> so, can you see? She was cool. We talked we talk for a minute, and then um, like I'm like, okay, uh, what are you looking for here? What are you expecting to get out of this? And she's like, I'm looking for sex. And I just like immediately I just start laughing, and all of a sudden she's like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, that nigga, that nigga I, master. I, I, I know in you're my master. mind, in my mind, I'm like, no, you're not. In my mind, I'm like, no, like she's like, I'm kidding. I'm like, no, you're not. In my mind, she's like, no, you know what I'm saying. But I like to have fun. I like to go out. I like to vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we have to. It doesn't take long to get a vibe. And you know, I'm a Scorpio. A girl has her needs. I'm like, see, you are not kidding me. Like, who are you kidding me? You're in around the fucking bus. Yeah, you're beating around the bus. Did you match that hoe? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> it was like, see, it was like see, 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 look, nigga, honestly, we need some futuristic shit to happen in life where other niggas could tap into people's minds and tell their story. Because I'm sure Rome would tell this story way more better, hilariously pacing. <laughs> because this yeah. shit, like, this shit is like overcomplicated. Wait, like, how many bitches did you get, nigga? Like, what the? Tell us the good parts, nigga. Oh, this okay, shit okay. sounds like somebody took Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, like and made it in real life. And, and okay, and okay, so here's some. Of Why the that. fuck you still matching niggas on a computer? You gotta do emails, gotta look at a screen, gotta do some Iron Man yeah, Tony man. Stark shit. <laughs> hey, yo, fuck all that. Let me just, let me talk to Shorty. She got a vibe. I'm vibing. She look good. I look long, good. Man. I got your number. Boom. How long? How long are you supposed to wait to get with these bitches? Like, are y'all all? That's in what the I'm car? saying. Are y'all yeah. all in the car on a website? Like, all right, let me. They're on. They're on the. They're on the uh, the profile because they get an account made for them once they sign up for it. Uh, Damn, when, did, when are all y'all niggas logging in? They had a computer lab in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> was this through Bumble? I missed, I missed it. Was this through Bumble or, or Tinder? What was it through? No, this is not through Tinder or Bumble. This is uh, actual like oh, location. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's Dude, it's like, like, like a simulation. Nigga, this sounds, sounds like... like, like it feels like virtual dating. I thought it was sponsored. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is fucking Nintendo Wii dating ass shit, nigga. This is dating through the yeah. Apple Vision Pro, uh, uh, nigga. Un- <laughs> Apple TV dating, nigga. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, once I got to all the white women, it was bad because they were all like ugly or horrible personalities. Taylor one, Swift looking bitches. One was a Damn. one. One was a fat girl from Maine. And I kid you not, she smelled like cow shit. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yo, yo, like from Maine. Nobody you, did push. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Shout, out, shout out to you Maine. Probably say lobster shit, but okay. Shout out to Maine. We forgot y'all was a state, nigga. Shout out to Maine. And, so, <laughs> and then, and then another, another one. She was literally like. Oh, I'm just here because I want to use this to make conversation and get better at conversing with people. I'm like, oh my Bitch, god, that was the chat worst. group. That was the worst. <laughs> yeah, <thing. laughs> you waste the time. Join the Kali. Join the Kali. Worst <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, and join the Kali. Like, yeah. hold on, your your King P. How did that bitch look? Not good. Like, nah, oh, that that the worst. Cause I already know, like, if this if Shorty is a oh, seven, on, I know she a tease to somebody. Yo, what's not good? Cause I know they have to dress up to a how many point okay, to, come to speed dating, nigga. Like, what did they? What was they how dressing many like? Were there? So yeah, were they you know. looking fine. Like, were they, like they were in school or were they in the club? Uh, were you asking, pilot? How many? Um, uh, you know, twenty one of them. How many would you say were at least a six or above? Okay, out of okay, I'll tell you this. Out of the twenty one out of the twenty one women, I checked on twelve of them. Okay. Checked on twelve of them and then That's double good. checked. What the fuck? No, hold on, hold on. Hold yeah. on. So I checked on twelve of them, but the ones that like were really good, like as far as looks and personality, I put a double check mark by them. So mm-hmm. six of them I put a double check by. Okay, okay. this nigga is too picky to be wait, a so, yo, yo, okay, wait, wait. But the so pilot <laughs> sees that's what I fucks with pilot because he asked the right questions the right way. So therefore we get the right answers. So if you're looking at you said twelve out of twenty six. Twelve out of twenty one. But twenty one? But six so hold on, so damn near you have maybe sixty five percent of the bitches was on point. So that means okay, sixty five percent. Was six and Come above. On. Fuck that. How many bitches matched you back, nigga? 
Well, so far, <laughs> so far, there's one, there's one match. So was it the Miami Team? Well, a, a, no, but a lot of them, a lot of them, they're not up yet. Like the profile, some of their profiles haven't put up yet. So it's here's this the slow ass thing is twenty one people, nigga. Yeah, I know it's it's weird. Like you, I hate dude, the way you would have got more fucking numbers at the damn mall by now. I, I know <laughs> you could have went to you could have went. I to get more numbers store. at the park, nigga. Like what the I, fuck I, is I, this? I, I, nigga, I, I, I was telling I, I was telling my girl when I went into Publix on February thirteenth, nigga. The amount of single mothers and single bitches walking around in their best outfits trying to get one last chance so, at a nigga. Before February fourteenth was ridiculous, nigga. So like, absolutely like, ridiculous. You should have done that, nigga. Like, Fuck me, bro. So the ones, like I said, like most of them were, were cool. Like I said, I du- I double checked the really fine ones. Although some of them, like one of them, I checked, but I almost e- put an X by her because of like something she did. I was very maybe just me being petty, me being like crazy. What did she do? What she so, was chewing? She was chewing gum? No, 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 no. no. She, she was cool. <laughs> She was. She was. Because he likes getting niggas be petty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. She was Filipina. She um, oh, child right. of pilot, pilots people. She was one of pilots people. She's Filipina. She cute. Uh, we fit like personality wise, but she did one thing like two times. From Get to me. it. What? Why, nigga? So, hold on, hold on. So let me tell you what I did. <laughs> when I greeted, when I greeted all the women, what I did was I went, "Hi, how you doing?" I shook. Oh, she hand. gave you that. Yeah, she gave me a like a dap like a nigga. I know. Like, I was, get to the fucking point. I know your yeah, goofy yeah, weird yeah, ass. Yeah, you up. It's Jeez, Jeez, Jeez yeah. Scott Nichols in your ass, and you had flashback. No, 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 it was worse. No, it's worse. Like that, it was worse than Sky Nicholson. Sky Nicholson gave me the pound. The pound is annoying, but whatever. A dap, like a dap, as in like we do like the. Like that and close. Oh, that means she fist. she a real one. What the I'm fuck? Like, no, yeah, like no. you weird. No, no. She could have she could have she could have slid you the eighth all rip right there, nigga. Like, nigga, <laughs> 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 I don't know, dude. Like, yeah, come on, nigga. Some of y'all she, niggas don't deserve. Let me let me talk to King P, nigga. Nigga, she's in line to talk to twenty one niggas. You're one of the niggas. You think she gonna get up and hug and kiss every no, nigga? No, that she no, no h- h- I did not hug or kiss any of them. I gave them all handshakes. That? Not no, a, a, a handshake, a soft, not too firm handshake to let them know where I was at. Like not too firm. Just a nigga, what, what, what so was you? He really didn't know. What was you expecting, nigga? Like, what did you yeah. think you walking into? I'm expecting people to be a little bit more professional and not fucking dap me like we're on the fucking corner. You're not my homie. Oh my God, nigga, you is the corner. You is fucking like, oh, look. Dude, dude, there's not a fucking job interview. Look, look, yo, it's shout out to this nigga Mark Keith, man. <laughs> you is the most light-skinned motherfucker in the world. Dude, yeah, dude, you, Mark you like this sounded like, like my interview at Clear Channel. No, Miss Miss really? Rashi sounds like speed bingo. I gotta keep a card, <laughs> match numbers. Like what the fuck? Thank you. It was ending King King B A R P K. Thirty five plus dating gets so much easier. Meet them all at the middle age high spots. Rome was telling them where to go. Doctor's office, car wash, jazz festival. Yo. The Moe's had them jazz festivals? Oh, you know, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Jazz festivals. Yeah, yeah. Them old school army. I mean, girl, I, 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 you yeah, know yeah, so. Yeah, yeah Miss Miss Smith, you, you, I mean, dating, like, uh, I mean, I guess uh, for a man's perspective, like, it, it gets a lot. I mean, these niggas used to teach me about, you know, how many dates I've been. I gotta say, I'll be, t- I'll be like, yo, nigga, I can't do this. I gotta go. I have a date or something like that. This nigga, and this nigga's like, nigga, you always dating. <laughs> it's like, it, no, it's no, like, this nigga's bad. It being mostly this, this shit with King P, I'm just like, oh, uh, real shit, dude. She was on some, real, dude. I would want a chick to act like we're not at a job and dap me up on some real shit. Fuck this right. little cute, hooked ass handshake. She thought you, she thought you was a real one, nigga. She like, all right, we vibing. Oh, I'm gonna hit this nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that shit, that that was on. Who raised this nigga? You should have went to that bitch with business cards, nigga. Did that way, you, every person you fuck with just slot them in the car. Hey, so you have to. So real quick, do you have to match in the end? The end of the story. At the end of the end, 
you have to end up matching with them and like that's the only way y'all can exchange contact information because none of them hoes created a profile yes you're yes. never gonna see them hoes again yes that's the only way we okay yeah, did you match the them? Way so they got security on you, you? Like, like they be like look if we if, if you write down their number you will get arrested we'll kick you out like really no 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 I, I, it wasn't but like that no like, way there were there there were people walking around just surveying things. Oh, there were right. some. Yeah. No, no, the niggas was really enforcing this shit. So uh, yes, you could have been like, hey. you can always be like, yeah, me after. I mean, I, you know, me, 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 was, after. So you, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could have been like, yo, sorry. That's what I'm saying. You ain't I, mean, I mean, nobody. Go to like, That's what I'm saying. It's like, what the fuck kind of Twilight Zone? Y'all niggas stepped in a goddamn portal or some shit. It's like went to a room. Went in there, <laughs> went in there met a whole bunch of random weird. niggas, and then left. It was, it like was a very fucking, weird. It was like an Xbox chat room. Y'all niggas just started <laughs> one thing. It got out. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was Dude, that weird. Was, Yo, this weird ass damn Twilight Zone. Multiverse dating yeah, really, six no, y'all, None of y'all y'all didn't walk out together. One y'all walked out one by one. They waited like nah, hey, minutes nigga, hey, yeah. to get to his car. Nah, yo, like, come on. These niggas yeah. came in a van with a bag over their fucking head, nah, son. And they to, let everybody walk out one by one. Nah, you were supposed to leave with the Filipino chick and be like, yo, you trying to go get some loud? Some shit, nigga. Like <laughs> Thank you. Dude. It's Valentine's Day. All y'all niggas just left and went home. Like, what the yeah, that's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just sounds too and no, crazy. And only one girl created a profile. That bitch was lonely. It was probably the main girl. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking final ball, yo. <laughs> that's what. Did you hold on? Did you link up with your one match, nigga? At least. We literally just we literally just matched today. I checked today, so okay, I, well, I sent the email. Okay. <laughs> Long ass shit, bro. Yo, nigga, what is this? 2007, nigga. Would, would you ever do this again? Would, would you ever do this again? Hell no. Oh, absolutely. I actually might do it again Sunday, and because huh. this time it's free. It's same, 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 same company. Put away, wait, 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 wait. Y'all paid for this? Yes. How much, nigga? Please. You wildin'? <laughs> I almost want to ask how much, but. No, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you exactly how much. No, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how much. Thirty-eight dollars. What kind of odd ass fucking number? Thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> it was thirty-five dollars. Okay. Thirty-five dollars, and then after tax, it was thirty-eight dollars. Okay. Thirty. Nigga, yo, they scared nobody. the fuck out of y'all. Nobody, I'm sure you could have went to the. I'm sure you could have went to the, sure went to the uh, a corner by your city, nigga, and spent forty dollars and got way more than just a, talk, a conversation. Either, 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 either eight to draw or a, or a speed date, um, you know. I don't, I don't know about the New York hoods, but niggas, but I'm sure you could have went to the Bronx and spent that forty, nigga. Got That's what I'm saying, man. dude. They're down here, if you would have pulled up in certain spots, listening to some damn sexy red, got the right flavor of black and mild coming out your Chevy Caprice, you would have got way more action with that thirty-eight dollars than the nigga. fuck you did up there, nigga. You could have went to the corner store and had all the crackheads going crazy, bought everybody a Cisco, nigga. That's like, the nigga, you would have been block captain. Come on, nigga. Nigga, I mean, like, I mean, for me, nah, I'm mad at, I'm mad at them niggas. They took my dog money, bro. Like, yeah, you should have I mean, been, I, I, I mean, you should have been on the Hornets with that money, nigga. You would have really came up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, to me, I would have, I would have rather pay for like Bumble Premium or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> yo, thank you, facts. Honestly, yo, real talk, you would have probably been better off paying for that for like a week or a month or whatever yeah, with that yeah. forty dollars. Yeah, though. Wait, yo, not, if you just gonna say fuck it, forty dollars, yeah, a fuck, yeah, miss my C, right, nigga? Ain't no way. Get you a refund, uh, yeah, nigga. I, mean, I don't know if I'd ever do it. It's a one-time experience. I mean, I, you know, I guess you know. But Pete, yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, Pete, I mean, you, I'm Pete, thinking this nigga about to say like ten dollars. Did you see niggas walking out with bitches from the thing, P? Yeah. No, they were not. <laughs> yo, what the? They fuck, let y'all out. Like everybody went through a different <laughs> door. Like, <what> <laughs> <laughs> well, this sounds like a Netflix movie, nigga. And what was the niggas looking like? Like, how were the niggas 
Like, what are they like? Pause. 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 What are they like? Business niggas? What are they niggas? I don't know. Like, I, I get what, what he's asking, gonna... though. Pause. Pause. No, but no, you know what? Hey. No, I'm saying, like, I'm but, but I get like, what he's saying, though. Like, like, was it like what would have buy from the niggas? Was it like the computer niggas, the Indian niggas that work at the gas station that smell bad? Like, what type of niggas? <laughs> like, what type of niggas do you go to this shit? You just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seemed like, honestly, it seemed like, it seemed like a lot of geeks. Like, geeks. Geek. That's what I'm thinking. Like, com- right the computer nerds. In, nigga. That's, what, that's what I'm thinking. Like, computer nerds, niggas that, you know, never got bitches in school. Like, okay. I mean, there was some cool. Like, computer there, 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 there was some cool. <laughs> Cool dudes, but like these dudes were like way too casual. Like, like I'm saying, I'm saying I'm there like, was nobody flying that bitch. Like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. casual. How were y'all fucking dressed? Like, you still ain't tell us how the bitches was dressed, nigga. Nigga, I would have came yeah, in there flying. Some, of them, some of them were dressed, some of them were dressed very plainly, but most some of them were dressed in dresses. There was dresses. There was some um just very like just a little like plaid little button ups. Uh, what the some, fuck? There, there, yeah, yeah, was yo, like, what oh, homemakers oh, club? What, what 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 spinner circle is this shit? Well, any of these no, dress like what oh, knitting they club they coming more. from? <laughs> what, what is this? Like like there's like no swag in this whole building. Yeah, like y'all walk city, through a door. What city like, did this take fuck? place in, nigga? This was in Brooklyn. So I know to avoid it. Brooklyn? This is in Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Yeah, this is in Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn, stop! Yeah. It, it, it it Biggie ain't died for this shit, nigga. Y'all ain't adding up for this, nigga. This ain't no four long place, nigga. This is the gentrified area of Brooklyn. Brooklyn do better. <laughs> I thought I'd never have to say this in my life. It's, it's, a, it's a little cool. It's a cool idea, P, but I feel like it's pointless if you don't leave with a person or at least a number, nigga. You got an email? Yeah. Like, if somebody got to be like, all right, go home, email, like, it's like, all right, fuck it, it's a wrap. Like, hey, yo, yo, Pat, I got one, said, time out, I got one. Hey, yo, Pat, this speeding dating, this speed dating shit that King P went to was the equivalent of Canelo's announcement of an announcement. Pat, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Pat>, oh, <laughs> That's exactly what this was. Like, like we're going to put y'all in a room with chicks and dudes. And y'all gonna act like y'all doing something, but it's not gonna amount to anything until maybe a week later. Right, yeah, that's it. That's just too crazy. Like speed dating to me, I always thought speed dating was like you you know, you 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 talk to different chicks around the room and then at the end of the night you 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 hit up the chicks that you that meet your fancy and you walk out with one, you get the numbers, you know, there's some conversation. Some Thank you. But but they treated y'all like this was a fucking episode of the Squid Games. One well, nigga came right. in a van, another, another nigga land in a hot air balloon, all y'all are staying blindfolded. They let the women go out one door, niggas go out another door. What the fuck was y'all doing? Y- y'all paid not to get pussy. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm looking for sex. Girl, you looked in the wrong fucking place. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying. I mean, dating is fucking is is, is like is a headache and a complicated, but it should be that complicated. You know what I mean? Thank you, fucking thank you. Say it again, please. Please, no, no, say it again. Like, yeah, one more time for the people in the back, please. Yeah, no, you're please serious. Say it again. I mean, dating, I mean, I mean, dating is you no know, is complicated, but it shouldn't be that complicated. You know? Yeah, what I'm thank saying? you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank I mean, you. I'm over here thinking because I, I mean, I mean, I asked, we were just talking about this earlier with, with look, Bumble. Like, you know, you you're on Bumble, you see all these profiles, like you know, you know, like the chicks, like, oh, every I gotta have a passport, or I want someone to travel with me, or yeah, if you're looking for something casual, swipe left. I mean, I thought, I mean, I'm thinking that's like the at the height of complication. And, 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 and apparently, I, I I don't know nothing about this dating. <laughs> that, that, that was a great. I want to do an over under on this shit. Like <laughs> this story, like it sounded like that Louis TV show. This sounded like a, like like an episode of like like a, you know one of those TV shows where you just follow somebody's life for a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo 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 yo! Hold on! Shout out to the chat. I see um Karma Serene in here. What it do? What it do? I feel like y'all are trying to kick me. <laughs> we not. I'm sorry. We, we've been listening to this nigga's story for a minute. And it's like, are we just up here like, yo, get to the good parts. And then it's like, we find out the nigga got scammed. I want to fight these niggas for King P. Like, fuck these niggas, son. 
Miss <laughs> <laughs> <Look, laughs> Rashida. Yeah. Speed dating sound like a good hustle. Thirty-eight dollars for absolutely nothing. Exactly. I'm gonna set that shit up at the crib, nigga. Y'all niggas pull up. Yo, don't, don't get nothing. Just pay forty dollars. Yo, bring game. Spot. Speed y'all dating. Talk for, y'all talk for thirty minutes and get the fuck out. Y'all, y'all want to link up? Y'all do that shit somewhere else. <laughs> and, 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 and we fight, and we lead you down the block separately, so you can't walk out with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if we see you standing outside, we're like, "Hey, bro, like, what you doing? What were you waiting for?" Hey, I'm, I'm trying to think. Ain't when the when the when the shorties coming out? They coming out later, bro. Just go, do you? Leave. <laughs> what What you mean? I gotta? I, I you know, cause you know how me and Rome, you know, nigga, leave. <laughs> All right, bro, we we leaving. All right, shorty, you can come out now. <laughs> Next, every five oh, minutes, yo, yo. Every five minutes gonna be the hustle I'm gonna nigga walk out like, all right, y'all can leave. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, y'all can leave. <laughs> Sir, yo, real, real when, shit. When like that. Gonna crazy. drive down the street. All right, he left. Y'all can go. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, like, I think like we really could legit set something up like this. Like, like you didn't, you didn't go to the gas station to see. Well, hey, weren't you just at the speed dating thing? <laughs> like, come on, nigga, are you kidding me? Y'all niggas, you up. <laughs> y'all niggas just went home. Get the f- come on. I mean, bro. I want to I, I at least put on my stalking shit. I'm like, no. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Interrupt me, nigga. Tell me you didn't just go home. Please. You're like, nah, nigga. I met up with number 17, nigga. We was good. No, nah, I... I mean, I I stayed at the bar still to because I had to pay my tabs and then get some drinks because I was Y'all niggas was lit? Y'all niggas was lit? This... Nigga, yo, yo, wrong. Yeah, Seriously, we gotta talk. Like, we yeah. really need to do the speed dating shit, bro. Wait, wait, last quick question, real quick. Uh, um, Kippy, was this like in a, was this like in a, in a bar restaurant sort of setting? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a bar restaurant. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, hold on, you, you ain't got no small. Stuff. You ain't have no tablet or whatever. Yeah. We no. don't have a chance to eat and drink, whatever. Like, yo, t- what the fuck was you drinking? Like, I mean, what, y'all, what was your tab, y'all, was, y'all was moving with a drink, right? Did anybody? Did any yeah, of the no, girls? Stay, any of the girls stay behind, nigga? They got Not the really. Out of I there. was there, and I was like, they all just spread like they all just spread like roaches out, just like just all one out, one out. Yeah, before. so you didn't have no impression on none of the bitches. Like, but I feel like I feel like King P didn't belong there. That if it, that no belong. that thing didn't belong that he, that whole room shouldn't existed. He needed to be at a club with a real vibe. He didn't need to be at that weird shit. He needed yeah, to that's be around. Weird. The, he needed to be. Uh, he was, it was cool. he was sitting I, at the bar like, yo, where the it. fuck the bitches at? <laughs> it was an so, dude, even the chick that was looking for sex didn't even stay. She even knew, like, yo, like these niggas is lame. I wasted my money. I'm out of here. <laughs> fuck you, niggas. Like I was, I was gonna, I literally was here to, you know, see what's good. Like she would have yeah. fucked running y'all niggas, but god damn. I mean, the second that Shorty said that, you know, that she, that she was looking, that she was looking for sex, I would have been like, shit, so am I. Let's get up out of here. Like there ain't, there yeah, ain't no one. We both had a nervous laugh, nigga. And <laughs> yeah, that, that, I was like, well, I'll be like, what the fuck is speed dating? Like, I'm out of here, yo, bitch. Come on, let's go. Let's get, hey, yo, yo, yeah, fuck this. You're like, well, I but found my. You would have been worth it. You would have left then with her. That would have been a hard story. That would have been a hard story. Thank you. See now, that's a story I could hear from Rome. Like that would have been and, a hard and, story. You know what I mean? Like I went to I went to speed day and three bitches in. This girl said, "Yo, I want sex." I'm like, "Bet we out." Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. Story, I, the, 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 the story should have ended with you, you know, eating eating the chick's ass or some shit, like something wild. I mean, because whoa, 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 yeah. But but, <laughs> but he's he, he meant he meant well. Like yeah. you know, the story should have ended with you at least bagging some shorty, going somewhere, chilling. Even if you ain't fuck, it just should have ended with you with somebody. And having Valentine's not with you at the bar, lonely, we listening to a playlist of fucking out, Charles P. Hamilton. We just oh. want the best for you, King. <laughs> Listen to Brooklyn Girls, classic song though. Classic song. <laughs> I know. Right? But yeah, like, 
No, like, I mean, bro, like, this is. I thought it was 20 bucks. If it was 20 bucks, maybe I'll try it, but I don't know about 38. But. 38, nigga, that. Nah, that's. Now, this wasn't even worth, though. This is like $5. That's the eighth bag that'll hold me for a couple days. Nah, definitely go to the free one. Thank you. Definitely go to the free one. Probably be more choices. Oh, the free one, and the free one might be cracking. Yeah. It might be four. It might be four. What was the ratio? Pause. But how many dudes were there? Were there twenty? Were like over forty dudes, or was it twenty-one dudes, or how many? How many dudes, dudes again? What is this? I mean, I don't know how many. Thank you, Pat. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. I don't know because the ratio. I mean, back because I'm, yeah. I'm trying to see if King P just didn't have a finesse and all the bitches walked out with all the other niggas. That's what I'm. Trying to see. <laughs> no, no, they were, they were. That's what I. That's that's why my question was like, what, what type of Indian niggas were these, were these niggas? You know, fresh off the king. Yeah, because it's just how did like. Like, yeah, he's yeah, he's right, son. Were these like, niggas dressed in the shikis and gold, and they just took all King P's bitches? <laughs> niggas look like Xerxes. <laughs> or were these niggas some fucking fresh out of Seven Eleven niggas? That's why I asked that. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> hey, he's, he's hey, fucking yo. spitting. Hey yo, <laughs> yo, like did they, yo, you, could, you said all the women just scattered out. Did did the niggas do the same thing? Like nobody cuffed, nobody like, and you're just sitting there at the bar yeah. like, damn. Like, I know you had the people yeah, no, that talking to a bitch. No, there was like, actually oh, a couple of guys that, that were still there. I was just like, okay, that's it. What y'all all linked up was like, yo, that shit was some bullshit, wasn't it? Y'all niggas had a box. Y'all linked up and had a podcast. Y'all was like, y'all see number 16? Yeah, that bitch was big as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the number 12 was one cheeseburger away, my nigga. Yo, number eleven could get it, like real, real tight. Number eleven is like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever do speed dating. Bro. I would, I would like, have rather yeah. done a, a fake Squid Games competition or some yeah. shit, nigga. Try to win three hundred million or some shit, nigga. I mean, yeah, that thirty-eight dollars, dude. Honestly, I, I wish this was like, I wish more people heard this episode because this deserve like an interactive Twitter poll where niggas could be like, what, what could have, what could, uh. King P has spent his thirty-eight dollars on better. <laughs> and you would have like four options. <laughs> niggas would have been like, yeah, hey, for like me. you could have got tickets to the to the barlins <laughs> some <laughs> shit. <laughs> he could have uh bumble premium. <laughs> that nigga could have filled his tank. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, like cause oh man, yo, I'm telling you, like, yo, real talk, if you if you go do the free one. We gotta have a part two of this, nigga. Like, cause, cause honestly, you cannot do the free one and we don't have a part two of this. It's like, because if we don't, spot? you better keep this shit to yourself, nigga. Is it is the free one at the same spot, P? Yes. Same niggas running it? Hmm. It's on Sunday. I'm pretty sure it's the same people running this. <sighs> so, well, you will already have your app downloaded, nigga. <laughs> This is fun. This is all fun yeah. to me. This is a good experience. But if, That's if all you I see that, I nigga, see this that, is uh, fun. Just talking about this girl, girl. If you see that black girl again, nigga, you better take her ass home. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, Facts. It, 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 Honestly, that's like that's. <laughs> That's that's a that's a ring gang order coming from above right now, nigga. Like, it, it, like you gotta like bag something, bro. Like, I almost feel like this a damn jump in, like where niggas be like, "All right, nigga, you you gotta you you take the new nigga to the mall." Like, hey, nigga, you gotta you gotta get shorty over there coming out coming out of Dillard's, nigga. Like, yeah, that that's the shit you on right now, nigga. The story that bat right, the story can't end. With you and four other niggas bo- talking about the event. <laughs> like, no. Like, if, nigga, if, if this was a DVD, like, this is the special feature we don't want to hear, nigga. Like, this is the bonus track. That's the bonus track, nigga. Hell no. It's the bonus track of a bonus track. <laughs> I like, like you know, you have to go there. You have to be shining. Like you got, you got dressed super clean and shit like that. Like you know, yeah. you, you, like you got you a whole out. dressed up plaid outfits and what kind of damn nursery velveteen rabbit shit is this, nigga? Like you, you got jewelry, you got rocket jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Like 
You know, you gotta do something. Yo, bring back the terror squad, you, you, went, TV, nigga. you went there looking for one, nigga. You need to go to speed dating looking for seven or eight. Like, all right, I'm gonna be. I didn't go there looking for I just did it just, just, just to do it. I'm just cool. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga Rome is in rare form tonight. Like, nigga, this. This nigga's in album mode right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm well rested. Well yeah. rested. Yo, that's crazy. This yeah, that's, yeah, I, yeah, I think I'll probably stick to my, my, my regular dates. At least I know, like, the one, one, like, one. Yeah, that speed dating shit sounds like it might be too much. You know, like, something like that. Yeah, might that shit, me. like, nigga. Yeah. We, gotta, we definitely got to get some of that speed dating money now, because that shit look ridiculous. Damn, niggas really... Really got y'all out of thirty eight dollars for that? It convinced y'all it was fun. Yeah, you should have you should have parlayed that shit up. Yo, facts. Damn, real. Yeah, thirty eight dollars. Nigga, that's, 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 that's at least that's thirty grand. <laughs> nigga, that's your foster right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got we got this boxer. We got this NBA on Fanduel, man. That's that's just what we're to, to a good cause. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm saying, nigga, like. That was a parlay. <laughs> well, we're gl- I'm glad you had fun, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Marky, you, had- you, you think it was a good story? Hey, Marky, because this was prime entertainment. Yo, Marky just said Rome scoring that fifty point game before the All Star break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, no, no. And, and shout out to this nigga Pilot for all the good supporting questions because this nigga Pilot. He was cutting through shit. He was like, "Hold on, wait, wait." Scott, how many, got a nice how many tennis tennis. were there? He had a nice DeAndre uh, Ayton game off of that. A ten and ten. Ten and ten. No, nah, no, nah, this nigga probably had about like twelve points and eight rebounds. Like that's a good support game, though. Yeah, I think yo, probably, probably definitely came off the bench with this shit, yo. Seriously. Yeah, and like niggas is like. Yo, I need a double double from you, and that nigga almost delivered, but then he gave you like four blocks and two steals. So you're like, yeah. <laughs> like he didn't get a double double, but that nigga was playing. Like fuck it, he was playing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm saying though, Pi, when Pi, I said when Pi gets on this bitches insistence, yo, it shit, shit gets legendary, yo. Like this nigga, that nigga gets focused. Like honestly, yeah. oh my god, like this nigga. Like, what is that? I think I he's just he's like a nigga in action. He's, he's like a pimp named Slickback. I, I did him a little Oprah, my little Oprah shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he wants to know the actual factuals. Like, where the business at? Like, I this nigga was cutting through all the red tape. This nigga was like, yo, fuck that kick key. Like, yo, so how many, how did the bitches was looking like? How many were there this, this night? Nigga was like, how were they dressed? Like, like nigga was cutting through all that shit. Like, if answers, there was three or four that were legit, like, you know, eights. Maybe like three, you know, eights. You know. That's what I was assuming as well. Maybe four. Would you say that, King P? Uh-oh. Say what? My bad. Were there about at least three or four legit eights? I think it sounds like, like three eights. Like probably three eights, maybe? Yes, yes, I would. I would. Yes, okay. I would say that. Yeah, that's what it seems like it would be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, them bitches is not making no profile to meet up with. No, nah, I mean, if that was me, I'd probably, you know, yeah. if I had a chemistry with one, I'd be like, you know, look, you know, where are you going to be after this? After this is all over, let's meet up real quick. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. get, a, get, a, get a number, you know? Like, you know yeah, number. Facts. Like, y'all yeah, just. You, you got to be like, at the next speed dating, P, uh, trust me, I know you niggas, you, nigga, you go out in Brooklyn. Just tell them, like, yo, nigga, after this, what time was it at? What time was it at, nigga? So it was at, it was at seven. Started at seven, ended at nine thirty. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tell one of them hoes, yo, ten o'clock. I'm finna slide over to Astros or whatever the fuck y'all nearest bar is, <laughs> and be like, yo, I'm finna slide over to Astros. You trying to get a drink or two? Be like, meet me there at ten. This shit ended at nine thirty. Like, All right, babe. Right. Just say that to every person. I guarantee you, two or three of them hoes gonna pop up to Astros. You just make your choice. Yo, Brooklyn definitely has to kick <laughs> this nigga. Yeah. Yo, yo, that's this cool. motherfucker. I, I, I yo, Marquise. I, I, I know you were saying fifty point game, I'm but this nigga, he's years. working on a Kobe game. I'm, I'm this nigga trying to go for like eighty one right now. Yeah, shout out to MB, nigga. Get well soon. <laughs> this nigga, this, this nigga, wrong going for the Kobe game because this nigga is just, is, is just fucking spitting, son. He, he literally, the way Roma set it up, half the event will be at that fucking bar he mentioned afterward. Af- afterward. 
Christ. Yeah. Th- there be yeah. some nigga like Turn yo, yo. To a <laughs> hour spot. Yeah. I, I'll, in, I'll invite the fucking chaperones to that shit. Like, yo, y'all, we all slide after this. Fuck all that walking yeah. around, nigga. Walk your ass over the Astros. <laughs> Facts. Like, yeah. Oh. God damn. Like, I felt like this could have been like a good movie, a cartoon, a, a TV script. Like, this was just too much fuckery, man. Like, I don't think there's been a. We haven't had an episode where we <laughs> laughed this much throughout the podcast in shout out to king p shout out to king p for that laugh yeah king p you you really brought the entertainment tonight Mm -hmm. this is up there with the goddamn um the episode with the jesse smollett and the nigerians yeah oh yeah (laughs) we should name this pod the cons of speed dating this shit is crazy yes yo this has to be an ill name son because Ooh, but this is up there with that episode. This is a classic. Like, yeah, I mean, it, the shit we talked about. Wow, before, the shit, the shit had jokes for you. This, this shit set this shit off. You know, like this, this is. Damn. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> King, King Speed, or we should call it <laughs> See, King you women Speed. out there. See, you, like I said, you women out there, you drove him to do this shit. Like, you know, all you had to do was show my man some love, and you know, That's what you, I'm you, saying. you speed dating shit, yo. Y'all made my nigga lose thirty eight dollars. We saying. already told you how many different things he could have got off of that. One of y'all hoes a bouquet with that fucking thirty eight. <laughs> you know how many roses he could have got one of you hoes with that shit? At least two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least two does. Dude, you would have got more action with a with a if you'd have bought a bunch of roses and stood out someplace handing them to bitches. Yo, <laughs> for real, you probably would have felt better if you just handed <laughs> out. If you would, if you would have just handed out a single rose to the homeless that day, like you probably facts. That would have made you yeah. feel better inside, nigga. Oh man, yo, this God, damn. Me. So, so you just think about it. Like, if everybody just say at seven o'clock, what were you doing? Like, this nigga, he getting finessed. <laughs> fucking okay, pilot probably on his way from work or he high as fuck having two butts I mean I'm, I'm fucking training somebody I'm, I'm suiting tools and you know what I mean doing me I know Rome was chilling um damn bro like that ring gang valentine hit different yeah that part two yeah we definitely gotta hear about that after Sunday then what what in on the on the next cast, you know, on the next uh, rant cast, or if we do, if, if we don't rant next week, we we do it like a, a music episode or something or whatever. But we either way, we definitely yeah, got to hear that real shit. I want to battle P on the playlist shit. Fuck this nigga. Damn. Fuck, <laughs> fuck all that shit. That nigga think you saw it now because he's <laughs> nah, nah, that nigga. Yeah, think nah, nah, like I want to wipe the floor with his playlist, nigga. I know I'll kill him. Oh shit! I gotta make the graphic. Y'all group. nigga, this week pick the categories. We'll get this nigga up out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yo, yo, this, yo, this, uh, yo, fuck, yo, this shit was fucking hilarious. Yeah, should, should run the same categories again, cause I know we'll get some, we should get some newer music with that shit. But yeah, fuck that. Like yeah, I'm gonna make the graphic. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. So run the same categories. I'm gonna make the graphic, okay, cause ain't no way, man. Goddamn AARP ass catalog. You hear that, P? Yeah, I hear you. Fuck, I, I was, fuck if somebody shit, the fade, I, don't, it, I don't fuck with. I don't, I'm not gonna say that, but I don't listen to Neptune's beats like that. Give me a better fucking shit, nigga. You swept, yeah, yeah, yeah. We swept fucking Neptune. I don't even know if King P listens to that shit either. <laughs> that's some yeah, shit, y'all. Did. That's some shit, y'all. Over forty niggas listen to, nigga. I don't listen to that shit. Oh yeah, over I'm forty. So, so. Yeah, nigga. And the niggas older than me. Damn. <laughs> Game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me, but you definitely. gotta give me and King P more fucking 2010 friendly fucking shit. Nah, man. we just switch out. Switch out the producers. So we switch out. Yeah. Just Blaze and Nip Blaze, nigga. That nigga came out when I was like four years old. Like, come on, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I was so surprised. Yeah, we, we, we got that right next week, hopefully, or something. It's been a while since we did. did I mean, because that was a pretty good concept the first time we did it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we have either that or we do one of the album comparisons. Because I know we have like two of the graphics still sitting in the inbox, LB. You know, all those shits. Like, which know, albums? Ah, oh, fuck. 
Ah, oh, I, I know the soundtrack one is fire. Including and we have and we have the um the R and B shit one too that's still sitting there. Like you know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We've been promising the R and B one. Yeah, I know the women, I know the women want that R and B shit, yo. Yeah. Yeah, like damn. But we'll, 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 yeah, we'll we'll rap about that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what. You yeah, want. yeah. We'll definitely. We'll we'll see what's. Up. I gotta make the graphics. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Yo, we still got the movie. Why? Well, damn. We, we just sitting on shit, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. That's why no podcast is seeing us, nigga. Like, we sit on. We be sitting on ideas. Like, y'all get a fraction of all the shit we do, and then we give y'all a lot. So just yeah. But uh, before we wrap it up, um, we, we had some Twitter polls that was in motion. Word, word, word. So we definitely want to uh, look at that. So this uh this will be the boxing question. Um, might want to tweet real quick. We going to be talking boxing now. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, cause this shit with damn KP and this dating man, this speed dating shit, nigga. You sure the Canelo or the Tia Fimo Shakur? Either one. Oh, I mean, I either can, one. Yeah, you do one after the other. I got the one today for the Twitter poll of whose stock dropped more after their most uh, recent performances, Shakur or Tio. And we got 37 votes so far. And 65% said Shakur's drop, stock dropped lower. Uh, and Tio Fimo's 35%. So most people think Shakur's dropped more. Yeah, Shakur, that nigga, get that nigga the fuck up out of here, yo. That shit was trash. Yeah, because now you know what? No, 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 no. I think a little racism is coming into this one. Like, I hate to be that guy, but I'll fucking be that guy. There's no way you could really say it's Shakur, even though his stock dropped, because he still won. Tio, his stock dropped, and it's like most niggas thought he lost. Yeah, but it's just the way. But at least Tio didn't st- then. Uh, didn't stop trying to win where Shakur was literally was running like I know it, it wasn't nothing slick about hold on, wait, 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 wait is Teal, can we really say Teal Fimo was still trying to win when he still was throwing like no punches and just following this nigga punches. he was coming forward trying to, he was trying to win I feel he, 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 he was just he trying to win if you can't cut off the ring and you telling like, niggas do this and then that nigga step to you and start beating your ass. I mean, he, the nigga was missing, yeah. He wasn't on his bike the whole half second half of the fight. He was swinging and missing, but at least he was coming forward and trying to win. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. I feel like he was trying to win. Yeah, Shakur was. Yeah, Shakur was back foot boxing to the negative degree. Like the it was, it was crazy. This nigga was that and running like he was literally running. It, it, it like I, mean, I get it. I just I got it. I gotta vote for the nigga who at least still won though. Like and they yeah, and that performance is horrible. Damn. But the thing is though, like even though Shakur won, it was just like it, it like it dude has a whole title and no one is even mentioning him. Like I don't even think the WBC is even saying, okay, look, nigga, if we put this if we if we force a man on this nigga, like this shit might this this shit might make niggas really sleep, uh, like in this arena. So it's like yeah, like well, let's just let this nigga sit there and just think about what he did. <laughs> Before we start putting him some important shit, <laughs> cause yeah. that shit, oh man, but I, I can see it, this. This is one of those, and you really can't argue for anyone. Like, if you feel like Shakur stock dropped, then I can't really blame you because I mean he pumped fake with the Frank Martin fight. He ain't really fight nobody we care about since the Valdez fight. Nah, and so and, and you know, after, and after he, he faked the retirement on some young nigga shit, and it's just like, and he's like, oh, I'm oh yeah, I feel, hold on, both these niggas fake retirements though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Tail, yeah, yeah. Yo, these niggas, yo, honestly, these two niggas need to fight. Yeah, they, yeah. it's like they got no motion right now. Like, yeah, and, and Tiffy was. I don't care about them fighting anybody else. And, and Tiffy was still calling out blood and shit. I mean, I, I, yeah. I like Tiffy Again, I'm a fan of Tiffy but yeah, I don't know. If you want, you know, butter record. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point of that. Right yeah, I mean, I mean, Shakur's next fight has to be some. He he's gonna have to really because I mean, the Nakatia fight. That's okay. That's one fight. You know, you still young in your career, but you do. Then you 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 have you're you're beating up people, and all of a sudden you can't beat up Edwin Del Santos like that, and you're running from him, and you're shook of his power, and you're blaming injuries. Like, hey, remember the Joe Gonzalez fight was. Bo- uh, was boring as hell too. Oh, the Nakatia, the Nakatia fight, Nakatia. 
He said, said that I, one. I said that shit, nigga. Pull up. Look, nigga. Look, 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 and Nakatia lost. I, and Nakatia got knocked out twice in the second round by prospects after. Yeah, so that's that's that, that's the thing. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Sh- Sh- yeah, Shakur. Uh, I mean, hey, Shakur is a powerful, powerful talent, but dude has to understand that this ain't the amateurs. Like, you got you like this. You, you gotta hurt your opponents. Like, you know, you can't you, or at you, least cry or okay. throw enough punches to where we don't care about you hurting them, but. You're in motion. You're throwing hands. Yeah, not you're not you're throwing more of your fist than your feet. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. The, yeah. Yeah. You know, can't be on some road runner shit. Uh, beep, beep, you know, just go around the other side of the ring, nigga. Like nah, like stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real, real talk. Like his stop. Both they stops drop. Yeah, like. The only difference is Tier Fim was the ruler of his division, which makes things complicated because it's just like yeah, you can. You, you know, that that's still his division, but he barely. I can't say he's a ruler of a division where I literally think he's lost like twice there. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it, it, like, I, I, and I get that's that. horrible division, dude. Honestly, look for as good as one forty is right now. It's stacked, super stacked. It's like a Pringles can ready to pop. Whatever the fuck you want an analogy. Like we need to start seeing some fucking fights, like. Where's the Brandon Lee matchups? Where's the damn um, Elvis fights? Where's these damn uh, Turbo Angry you Fist fights? You're talking about PBC, and PBC just is a, is a mess right now. Like, you know, they quote, had the best year last year. It's like, God damn, none of these guys are fighting. Like, all the guys you mentioned should be having a 140, you know, a 140 tournament low-key, but obviously. All these niggas, because I'm just not, even Richardson, Richards, Richardson Hitchens, like I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, I mean Matthias went to fucking match room for the five fight. And these niggas need to fight each other. Like it's too many. Like I see what Tio doing. He's fighting names, but now he his next step is like, okay, you fighting the niggas, but beat them mm-hmm. clearly, convincingly, right? And then the damn his dumbass speech afterwards, just uh, oh yeah, my god, yeah. Yo, Sakura ain't never sounded there's no say no stupid shit like that, like uh yeah, and, it, and he be well, saying some stupid shit. Yeah, well at least kept it real, but yeah, no the, you know, this the, the retirement shit was the stupid shit that he said, but at least at the post fight interview he kept it real. He didn't look good and none of that shit. And that's and that's fine though. It's still yeah. delusional Thank you. Uh, you know what, honestly, the next time we do a, a Twitter poll like this, it really needs a tie. Obviously. Cause I would honestly probably vote a tie on this one. <laughs> now, now, y'all talking more. I'm like, yeah, both these niggas is horrible. <laughs> That's kind of a cop out, but I did choose to female because it was more recent and yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 I mean, it, it sounds like a cop out, but for this for for this matchup, it legit could work though. It's not like we're saying whose stock fell more, and we'd be like, I right, oh, Tyson Fury. And Jamel Charlo or some shit or uh Zerto and Wilder. Like when you really kinda think about it, this was one of those like damn both these niggas were fucking up a lot recently. Um the performances are similar, the fights, everything, the Twitter shit, the interviews, all similar they're all they all run parallel. So I don't think it's really a cop out with this matchup. But for certain matchups, that would be a cop out. So I agree with you somewhat. You know. Facts. What was the other poll? Pause. Let me see if I, uh, it was um the Canelo. What will Canelo's announcement of announcement be? Right. Um. <laughs> let me see. I, let me see if I can find it. Uh, so we did. We did the Paul Williams one too, which was really close. But oh, see, the, the, damn! Why, yeah, why we didn't mention that one? Like, yeah, yeah, well, like I, I'm, on, I'm on that one, so I'll just we'll just do this one real quick. Um, which fighter had the better career? Um, and they had 90 votes. We got five days left and 11 hours. So at Ringing Radio on Twitter slash X, check it out. We did ask who had the better career between one Paul the Punisher Williams and Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs, with. 52% going to the Punisher and 48 going to DJ. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, I'm yeah. surprised it's this close. It was a great matchup. I think, was that ULB? You came up with that one off, off the blue. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, I mean, 
I mean, I pick Punisher. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of um, Paul Wilson. Yeah, I pick Punisher too. Same, because yeah. Punisher has at least has a couple of Hall of Famers on his. Uh, I mean, he has the Winky win, uh, Sergio win. I mean, the Margarita win is a big win too, regardless of what niggas think of him. Like you know, he has that was a huge win. That was one of the rare. Whenever you have the two most avoided people fight each other, mm-hmm. that uh, that counts extra for the person who wins that. Yeah, because yeah. that's one of those. He does like play too. He clear does. the table type of fights. He had to, he had to, he had to, you know in that fight he had to dig you know dig deep to to, to yeah. Get some I always remember that twelve round. Yeah, because yeah, right. Margaret, I mean, because like Margaret Margarita was a legit boogeyman back in those days. Mm-hmm. Margarita was dangerous. Like niggas, like they niggas, both became niggas. boogeyman. That's that's what made the fight so crazy. Like yeah, yeah like boogeyman A boogie versus boogeyman B. And both were you know the multi weight champs and both had you know were on the opposite of you know. They got KO'd in, in memorable fashion. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately. Well, well eventually, not back then. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying the one, you know, obviously the, the, the fucking surgery. Their team. high points revolve around their highs and their lows. Somehow revolve around the same fighter. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> you know, but 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 with, with Danny Jacobs though, Danny Jacobs has solid B wins, but he doesn't. I mean, his best win is probably Derry Trickle, like a career win, like seriously. Nah, 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 Peter Quillen. Oh, Peter Quillen, Peter Quillen. Oh, yeah. I know, hey, but he, it was a good win. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, this nigga, was Pat, yeah, this nigga's like, oh, God, like, I mean, that I nigga mean, was low key disgusted, like, with us when we said that shit. Kid, Kid Chocolate was pretty good back then, you know, I don't know. I mean, I mean he was undefeated, no, he, he got it. his belt. No, he wasn't. He, was he wasn't that good, like, he was a champ. No, he's a I think that's a better win. The reason why I say it's a better even, win than Thurman and Chanko, he wasn't because even Thurman and Chanko never been a champ. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. is a better fighter than, than Quilla. Like, no. Yeah, I mean, because the thing, I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, I've let my, I've let my discuss about Quillen be known. Like, Quillen, Quillen had potential, but, you know, he, he kind of fell to the wayside a little bit. Okay, so even then, a Darian Chanko win and a Peter Quillen win, is that really seeing past it, Winky, Prime Sergio, and uh, Prime Margarito throwing throwing past it, Sean Bay Mitchell? Who else we got? Uh, Bruno yeah, Phillips. He's, he's Bruno Phillips, yeah. He, I mean, he, he, that's the fucking names. He quote unquote took Laura zero too, but you know that might be an asterisk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did uh, that, that. But uh, that was the uh, that was the boxing gods readjusting, recalibrating. Because what's his name? Ain't ain't Carlos Molina get robbed against dude? Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the and 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 that was kind of karma too for Laura. Because look, as bad as Paul Williams looked in that fight. That's a perfect example of a nigga who kept trying to win. <laughs> yeah, even as he ate counters left and right. He ate right. counters. He was still trying to... He took a legit four rounds in that fight. Mm-hmm. Laura, for as good as he is and as hard as he punches, he should have knocked out Paul Williams. Yeah, like Paul... I mean, so Paul, he, he got robbed and the, and the judges got suspended, whatever, all that. Sh- I get it. He got robbed, mm-hmm. but it was a robbery... He really could have prevented, and yeah. he would have been better off for it. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, that you know, like I said, but, I don't you know, get pissed at that robbery as much as some others. Like, he, he, you know, you want me to get pissed off after a robbery? Yeah, uh, Emmanuel Augustus and damn Courtney Burton, shit like that. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, but Dan, but I will say, I think someone put it in the comments too. Danny Jacobs made more money than Paul, and yeah, Danny Jacobs. Yeah, I think at the I mean, different era, though. <laughs> Yeah, that's right too. Because at least Danny Jacobs, you know, because I mean, obviously he was in the early PVC cards, but then dude went from going life and death with Sergio Mora on them damn cards, to and then knocking out Quillen to getting a paper, getting a pay per view fight with Triple G, getting a big fight with Canelo, getting a, a belt, a legit belt with Derbyanchenko, getting a Chavez Junior fight. Brought made dough, like, and he did this when yeah. Zone was throwing money around. So, like, and it's not like he was looking great in a lot of these fights. Like, yeah. he looked he looked good in uh, 
against Canelo and Golovkin, and it just tapered off from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, and he, he went like that with E.J. Smith, too. Like, he did. <laughs> and, you know, I don't want people to forget that, you, you know. And I feel like Paul Williams, I know it's a different, Jacobs was still like a, what's that word, prospect be using? I mean, King P, no, wait, Pilot P, Pilot, that, that new nigga, um, he, he prospender. Like, I know Jacobs was at that stage. <laughs> so I kind of like, I don't want to too hard, but eh, you supposed to kind of, mm, but but still, nigga, I mean, like, I, I know Paul Williams would have like, probably stopped you, say. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, obviously, if the accident didn't happen, Paul would have probably gotten a couple more high profile scalps, at least to me, before, you know, he started. He came back in the last fight before the supposed Canelo fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, he looked bad and against um Laura. Then he, you know, everybody was like, "Damn, like yo, retire, like you're not." Da, 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 da. But then he came back, looked better. Then we're like, "Okay, Canelo." And then the accident. Damn. Damn. Real quick, I just want to say a spoiler alert on Golden Boy. Jojo Jojo Diaz is lost to uh, uh, some random dude. Good for damn. Good I should have put some money on that shit. I had a feeling that they got some big upset. Just a big upset. He deserved to lose. I was watching the Warrior. I'm just saying. Yeah. Damn, I, I, yeah. Should, I knew I should have lost. It was a good fight. It was a decent fight. Decent fight. Damn, oh, boy, Jojo. Jojo's yeah. done. Yeah, top one. Yo, Jojo. I, honestly, I I don't know what. It, I mean, Jojo went from being like this all American Olympian fire to being a fucking Mexican vato and shit. Like you know and shit like that. Like honestly, like it shit was like day and night. This thing used to be clean cut. Now of course you know. Yeah. Doing that shit, and of course the whole kitty thing that he, you know, that he's currently fighting the case about. And he fought better when he was clean cut. He moved his hands more. Yeah, he, he wasn't used to be like slicker. He used to be slicker. Yeah, it was kind of. Thank like, you. But I like, mean, now he came like, in the game as like a southpaw Canelo to me, and then he <laughs> turned into Brandon Rios. Yeah. <laughs> but then he did. Uh, yeah, he duck. He duck Kid Austin. So at least this guy Perez, will, you know, they could, they could give him Kid Austin. I guess you know. No, I don't know. Yeah, but, but Jojo okay, Diaz, like, but it seemed like Oscar had like once once Oscar gave up once Jojo gave up the belt on the scales. It seemed like Oscar didn't have any use for him other than yeah. Let me let me throw him in against tough points. I mean, Devin Haney was probably his real yeah. last great performance. Like yeah, for that actually showed his actual skill. I was glad I was there yeah. for it to see that shit live though. But yeah, jo- Jojo Diaz is is a waste of talent. You know? Yeah, yeah, he, he was a part of the, that camp, you know, I mean, of a talented Olympic team. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, LB got to see him beat up Tevin Farmer alive, so I guess it, was- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it worked out because that was the, I remember the podcast, I was like, dude, y'all niggas picking Tevin Farmer against Jokes, like, stop, like. He's, he's one of Turbo's fifth best wins, too. I mean, I, you can say, I mean, I mean, That's true, too. It is. So it's like, you can't shit on JoJo too much, too much. Yeah, no, but yeah, I think no, I think. But he could have turned out better. I do agree with Pat on that. But like, yeah, he, somehow he kind of regressed. Lost. Uh, he's he yeah. disciplined because this fight was at like a one thirty nine catch weight. You know what I'm saying? Like it's supposed to be. A, Jesus, you know, he, can't, he, he can't make one thirty one. Can't make. He couldn't make one thirty five. You know, like. Yo, that's an odd ass crazy number. That's like the thirty eight dollars. One thirty nine, really? That's, yeah, that's like a photo. Like I need you to be at one sixty seven point five. No one sixty. No one fifty nine point five for the middleweight title type shit. Like, yeah, this but dude, y'all get to the last poll or, or no? Yeah, go to. Oh the yeah, yeah. You can say that real quick. Yeah. yeah. This one, this one was like pretty much down the line, 23 percent across the board almost. But we asked, the, you know, the day before the announcement of announcement for Canelo Saul Saul Canelo Alvarez, what would be his big announcement? Um, we had four options, and one of them was a uh, Jaime Munguia fight, which got 29%, 23% for Jamel Charlo, 22 for Terrence Crawford, and you said Jamel? Jamal, my fault, Jamal, 23% for Jamal, 22 for Bud, 26% retirement, 123 votes with a couple, a couple three days left. For He's retiring. Two. He's done losing. No, he's, he's fighting again. He said he's gonna fight. His announcement was he's gonna fight an American. Spoiler alert: he's gonna fight an American. But that could, I mean, you know, wishful thinking. It could Listen, be Benavidez. There's no way. You know, there's no way he's gonna go out getting beat the fuck up by Terrence Crawford. Like, that's that'll be crazy. But also today, uh, Samson Samson Lewicovich or whatever said that it's not gonna happen this year. So he's he's obviously ducking Benavidez. 
It's a bummer. What he it was not going to happen. Benavides or he's not going to fight. Well, Canelo not fighting Benavides this year. That's that that's that's that's, the, that's what Samson said. Samson's like you know one of the PBC. You know he handles Benavides and a lot of those guys. And he said it's not happening. If it does, if it doesn't happen this year, it'll never happen. It's a big, it's a Fact. big, it's a duck, it's a duck. I, mean, I don't care what you want to say. It's been the biggest middle super middleweight fight for like the last two three years. Yeah, it's like I just don't see, and it's even bigger now because Benavidez got more names and he's been seen more. So and he's been dogging niggas out. Pause. Well, Joe, yeah, so I, I want retirement. Shout out to square a little bit. It's supposed to happen this year. If it ain't, like, yeah. Canelo kind of needs that fight. Yeah, because there's no other fight we care about. Like giving us Charlo when we can't, you know, ten years late when we wanted the fight years ago. Canelo ain't needs enough. To, he needs to give us a fight where niggas just stop playing with his name. Where it's like, all right, y'all niggas no, keep I mean, talking shit was, about shit down. Shit, y'all keep talking you, down on me. Watch, I'm gonna beat this nigga up. That's what I'm saying. But there's something Benavidez fight. But this was, maybe the maybe only he, way he could. Shut us up without Benavidez. Or uh, Crawford. If he pulls a fast one and fights Morel Jr. Yeah, something like that. That would be completely like, what? <laughs> and I know he's not going to do that. Because he's, he's, he's just as bad as, like, I'm talking about like a badass, like bad motherfucker like Benavidez. <laughs> and less known. So it's like, why? Why even like, waste time promoting? Yeah. Like, yeah, right. Nobody would be like everybody would be like who casuals would be like who who hardcores would be like oh my god you know Pat would do back looks and shit you th- throw a couple cars <laughs> but everyone else would be like I mean, clearly you know people you know some of the Canelo fans are you know oh he's he'll beat him for sure but there's something he doesn't want in that fight it's something he you know he, he you know it's the speed the youthfulness the size he clearly doesn't want to make that fight because Canelo would make yeah. that fight. I mean, if you, if who, who do y'all want to see? Who do y'all want to see him fight if it's not better be there? <laughs> Morel Junior didn't say fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Crawford's a bigger. Would y'all say Crawford's a bigger fight than Benavidez? To be honest, in terms of like Hell well, yeah. known, in terms of well known, no. like you know, no. Yes, he's known. But see, the thing is, the the reason why I don't think it's a bigger fight because it's coming after the Jamel Charlo fight. And people are tired of the whole you getting a smaller person. Like the Crawford fight is bigger for Canelo if he beats Benavidez. Then that fight is big. Because all of it look like now, if Crawford beats Canelo, niggas gonna be like, well shit, Crawford need to fight Benavidez. And and then you're gonna have niggas talking about, well, Crawford too small. Then niggas gonna be like, he was not small enough for uh, for Canelo. And then and Benavidez is still left out of a big fight, and he deserves a big fight. Niggas gonna be saying Benavidez need to go to 175, and they're gonna do the same shit that niggas was doing with Golovkin before Canelo fought him. Well, he need to fight Ward. He could fight this nigga. No, I'm campaigning that this division. The best nigga need to stop fucking ducking me. Mm-hmm. Word. That's word. Yeah. That, that's all it is, really. Like. Like so that that's why like I don't could do the Canelo was a knockout Crawford. You know how big a Benavidez fight would be then? That's a fact. Yeah. But it's yeah. like But it's, it's like is he fight is he fighting for the crowd or is he fighting for himself? You gotta think about that, nigga. He probably he fight for both. He fight for a paycheck now. No, yeah. I, mean, I don't I don't yeah. know if it's about a paycheck either. I feel like it's just about preserving his legacy at this point. But yeah. both look, both fights do that. But people are tired of waiting for the Benavidez fight. Like Benavidez done earned it now. Like more than enough. Like, 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 like you said, if it don't happen this year, it don't happen at all. Because he'll retire before it happens. Or Canelo loses injury, whatever. Or Benavidez loses, or whoever. No, Canelo's on his way. Boxing out the is too now. unpredictable. Remember, Canelo was around for a long time. Nigga, nigga fought Floyd. Mm-hmm. Nigga's been around for a long time. The nigga's on his way out the door. I can see that happening too. Like I don't. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I can see him retirement on, like, your way out the, on your way out the door, when you take the hardest fights, niggas end up looking real bad, and then their legacy is tarnished. But that's his fault for saving the hardest fights till now. Don't don't take him. 
Then, then just fucking retire, bro. Because <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, nobody you say don't take your fights. Nah, what? L- listen, not if it's gonna fucking damage your career and ruin your legacy. And niggas gonna how, like, yeah, how is how is taking the best fights and losing gonna? Did Oscar De La Hoya towards took the, the best towards fights. the end of his career? I'm saying this is the end of his career. Why would his last fight be Terence Crawford or Benavidez? It's only the end of his career because all well, all the said, good fights are actual hard fights right now. Well, 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 he said. I mean, we'll see. But he said in a new video um, that he's not fighting Crawford, that that wouldn't happen. Um, he said that he has nothing to gain from that and everything to lose because if he beats him, they just say, oh, he just beat a small went up to, Yeah, he went he up did, to Dude, What the fuck did he gain from fighting Jamel Charlo then? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's just like the people that was mad at Anthony Joshua for fighting Ngannou. And it's like, no, shut the fuck up. Y'all let Fury fight him. <laughs> and Fury fucking lost, so now somebody has to restore honor to the uh, boxing community, or we're gonna keep oh, wait, hearing these wait, goddamn wait, MMA wait. arguments. Hold, hold, I'm just hold, saying. Hold. To be fair, to be fair, didn't you say that you don't have any interest in seeing Canelo fight Crawford? I don't. <laughs> then, then, what, then what is the problem? <laughs> so, like, he's, he's not wrong. No. You're kind of, like. He's you not know, wrong dad. for saying that. But see, I don't mind it. If look, if he fought Benavidez first, yes, then you can fight Crawford. But to make Benavidez wait more, wait, because yeah. then it, because it, it just like the scenario I said earlier, if he fights fucking Benavidez first and beats Benavidez, the Crawford fight is a bigger fight. Mm. But if he oh. fights Crawford and he loses, then it's like. Now it's Crawford and Benavidez, and then niggas is gonna be like, nah, you know, There's Crawford no way, ain't yeah. big enough for Benavidez. And then Benavidez is out of a fucking career defining fight that should have been his for like three years. You know, it's bad when um, I'd rather see Munguia f- uh, than Jamal. I'm, I mean, you know, like, like Munguia, yeah. it sounds like a better option. And Munguia, I mean, because Munguia has at least done something at 168, you know, whereas Jamal ain't done shit at 168, you know, hasn't fought at 168, you know, so it's like. You know, it's just, honestly, Munguia is just because he's active. It's not about him doing. He hasn't really done shit since yeah, 154, active. really. Mm-hmm. He's been fighting the same fight over and fucking over 17 times. So he's just more active, active than Maul. And honestly, bad. him and Maul should have fucking fight. Like, neither really deserve a Canelo fight. No. I mean, Maul earned his Canelo fight years ago, so but... That said, I, I want to mention about Matram and zone and everything. Everybody talks about how 140, everybody's going to Matram and zone. But remember at the 160 time when they had Munguia, Triple G, Canelo, Andre... None you of get none of these fights. None of these niggas mix it up. So don't be... You know, 140, don't be all happy. Oh, everybody's like, everybody, out, and you're taking over. Let's see it happen first, because we ain't seen it happen at 160. I'm just saying. Or all, all 168. Remember... You had Saunders, Caleb Smith, all these niggas had belts, and then what? One by one, they all got fed to Canelo. And and they hyped up those fights as tough fights, so now Canelo feel like he don't have to do nothing anymore. Right. And and that's why we're in this shit right now. Niggas niggas can't pick and choose no more. All the all the legacy defining fights are the all the tough fights. Or the legacy, the final fights, and the money fights. All three of the fights are the same fights. Facts. The Crawford shit ain't gonna work right now because you just fought Jamel Charlo, who had to move up. So niggas ain't trying to see that move up shit no more. Yeah. People won't mind it. See now, if Boots, if, if Crawford beat Boots and Canelo beat Benavidez, no one would mind Crawford Canelo. Honestly, Crawford just fight the winner of Zoo um Zoo Thurman to be honest. I, I feel like you know, Yeah, at this point. At this point, that's his best option. And the walls are closed. I think P might have said if you But and honestly, I think Boots is a bigger fight than the winner of uh Zoo Thurman, honestly. Hmm. But I know Boots is having a damn um He's having a, a lawsuit. The, the lawsuit shit, so that's kinda of That's strange. another thing. So yeah, like that, that's the thing. All these big fights for these niggas are tough fights, but they're the money fights. So I mean, yeah, that's what's that taking so long for these niggas to make. Same thing with Tank. All the best fights for Tank now are like the tough fights, but they're money fights, but they're tough for now. And that's why it's taking longer for these niggas to make these fights. 
Yeah. Do you think it's a coincidence that the, the, the three biggest names or faces of boxing are having the longest, hardest time to make a real fight? Yeah. I mean, there's not a, a route like Tank could fight Pitbull, Roly winner, you know, for that 140 belt, or he could fight Frank Martin. He should Who fight wants to name? wait for that, bro? Tank, be a long Tank time. needs to have a fight over the. Tank needs to start having a fight sign. No one needs. No one's starting to wait for Tank to fight the Roly Cruz winner. Get the fuck out of here. Well, because realistically, because think about it, March 30th is the, is the first PBC shit. Then, you know, April, maybe April. But in May, you're going to have the Canelo fight. After that, it's going to be probably, you know, Tank in the summer, right? So this nigga's going to fight once this year? See, I mean, the dates are fucked up. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it, better be, it better be better than motherfucking Cruz Roly winner. <laughs> Or you could me. not have that be your one fight of the year, bro. It's maybe bullshit. Yeah. This this a year like you gotta fight as a beta Frank Martin at least if you are gonna fight one dude this year. Right. Like Roly Crew, no one wants to see a retread in your one fucking fight of the year, bro. So yeah, like y'all niggas need to get a think tank over there, bars, and, <laughs> and, and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that, that shit ain't working for nothing, like nigga, like nah. Yeah, y'all, y'all playing the speed dating game with, with y'all careers right now. This shit, <laughs> hey, y'all get this shit together, like that. That's who managing y'all shit, like y'all nigga. Nobody got fights because everybody's like, damn, what's the weakest big name difficult fight, like right? Y'all pound for pound, niggas. I don't want to hear this shit. Like even even Monster got his fights done. Like come on, man. Like, <laughs> right. See, because the earlier you have the fight signed, the longer you could promote it. But y'all niggas can't promote fights no more because instead of having fights signed for the next five, six months, or four months, y'all get them signed, and then in two months to fight. Like, like they don't work like that. Y'all build this shit. That's why y'all don't do press tours and hit cities and gyms and promos because y'all gotta focus super focus on training right you can't do all that shit in two months Fast, you can't, you can't. I mean, damn like how many times we gotta fucking tell y'all but whatever <laughs> but i think that we ain't got too many more twitter polls that's it right yeah that that's it. it yeah let's, yeah, let's yeah, wrap yeah, this up so, 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 so i can watch this house of ninja shit yo so uh yeah yeah so rome yo final thoughts before you get up before we get up out of here yo uh final thoughts i knew the chief was gonna win you have taylor swift as your you know headliner you gonna you gonna win nigga that's what happens um it was in, it was in the script no it wasn't in the script that nigga green law when he went down i don't know if y'all niggas seen my tweet but they was down by 10 points when Greenlaw went down. And I said, <laughs> I was like, Illuminati just took that nigga out. And these niggas are about <laughs> to lose. <laughs> I said, these niggas are about to lose. And these niggas came all the way back and beat them in overtime. Crazy. Damn. Yeah, so it went to the, overtime. I didn't even know that. But fuck the Chiefs. Shout out to my Bears. Heard we're trading Justin Fields to the Patriots for their third round pick. And we're picking up Marvin Harrison to go along with Caleb Williams. I heard it's the Steelers. I heard the Steelers might. might, might no, nah, we're, giving, we're giving Justin Fields to the Patriots, nigga. Y'all, them niggas need something over there. They need a spark. And they got no Belichick, so he might be actually comfortable with going over there. Damn, I want to say something, but it'll just make more football talk, so I won't. And then Pat will join in. No, say it, say it. The Eagles ain't doing shit. Jalen Hurts is trash. I fuck. I, yeah. I, I was going to say, like, but weren't y'all like the worst team? How can the worst team give niggas a spark? Yeah. Because we have a quarterback that couldn't throw to nobody because we don't have nobody to throw to. Oh, so, okay. Uh, 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 so, uh, 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 our quarterback, quarterback was doing that, the same that, shit that. Lamar Jackson was doing, and he just won an MVP. So it's not like he's not raw. The nigga throws for 100 yards, but he runs for 150. So that's still 300 by scrimmage. Yeah, he's, he's a he's struggle. Really, yeah, Justin Fields is a struggle RB. Yeah, you know, that's what it is. He ain't no QB. That's why you niggas. Listen. That's why this nigga has. No, See, that's what I want to say. Listen, has, but the, this, the this Patriots has, already have. The Patriots. This nigga has, he still hasn't won more than a double. Because this nigga, bad low key was like, 
damn, this nigga's kind of, he kind of asked him a good question. Like, this nigga kind of was spitting. Like, fuck check this nigga. Check this out, check this out. When my quarterback got injured, my team lost four in a row. When he came back, we lost, we won out the rest of the season. Doesn't matter. You know, this nigga hasn't won ten games in all his games yet. So we would have gained a. We would have gained a. Hold on. So what was your record? I think we was. We was dead even. Eight and eight. Or seven and nine. Seven and nine. Yeah. Yeah. Seven and nine. Yeah. You didn't get the playoffs. Yeah, so y'all still ain't won no ten games. This nigga. Well, we, won, we won five games in a row. It don't matter. Our quarterback got hurt in the in the middle of the season. In the prime. Of the I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, okay, I give you that. Like. If he came back and then y'all win five games in a row, like that's still momentum. Like, I'm cool. I respect that. Five out of six. Nigga was five balling. out of six, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, everyone was beating, he was beating so good teams. It wasn't work. like we was beating up trash teams like the Eagles. And the Eagles lost. What are you talking about, nigga? We beat up five. five, play- five of we beat six. five playoff teams, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? And you, and you also lost five games after you lost to the 49ers. Yeah, we 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 yeah we ended the season at eleven oh, at damn. six and went no, to the playoffs. Hold on, y'all. You that's the, the thing. Like, you ended the season in devastating fashion at, on your home. We field. still that's made the playoffs. Hold on, so wait, 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 wait. Aren't y'all like the Tiafimo Lopez of the NFL? Like y'all beat playoff teams, but then y'all lose to the fucking Jets and Dolphins and the. They, Scrub we niggas beat and the shit. Dolphins. We beat the Chiefs this season. Who like, y'all beating the playoffs? But y'all, y'all still lost to the Jets, though. Well, nigga, you don't understand. When did y'all lose to the Jets? <laughs> <laughs> The nigga say you don't understand. You don't understand the significance of that. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 that was like you I don't know. understand. Like you don't. So I guess I'll never be in the football. You just it to say it. You don't understand. I cause uh, cause you heard me. Well, say when it. I was talking about the damn book, when I was talking about the Bears, it was like, oh yeah, hold on. Well, yeah, because yeah. yeah. they got no the, 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 the thing is, though, Rose we, 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 I think the shit about the Eagles now is like, wait, wait, yo. The Bears, Bears are ready to like, reroute at, this at shit, no point, We're rerouting. We just at got no Eddie point in the today. last 20 years have the Bears been better than the Eagles. And that and you can even do the records like you know side by side. Our quarterbacks have been better. Our coaches have been better. And Lovey was the best coach that the, that, that team ever Nigga. fucking had. And they you got look at that. The Bear, you can look at Bears history. We haven't had a good quarterback since McMahon, nigga. Like, what are you? We, well, yeah. We, either way, we so this, off it makes defense. it even weirder that this nigga, t- this nigga talks we up know. the Bears. We know. We win off of The Bears sure. are always been trash. No, nigga. We've the always had trash. great running The Bears are the stuck in the 80s. Right? I mean, like, you know, I was born in Illinois. I got Illinois Chicago roots. The Bulls, the Bears just seem like they're stuck in the 80s. I don't know. They seem like they're yeah, like, I don't know. We're, what... we're, listen. Nigga, the we're 80s games. is a long fucking time listen, ago. We win no, games based on mindset. running game and defense. That's what we need. That's all we need. We don't need a quarterback. We just need game. Nah, in 2024, you need a quarterback. Jalen Hurts to fit right in in fucking Chicago with his game managing ass. Hey, man. Nigga, we actually won fucking games, nigga. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I did see, I did see that boy on um Abbey Elementary, and I was like, this nigga had a, had a terrible end of the season, but he's on Abbey Elementary, you know. Like I said, talk shit. to me when your quarterback actually gets to the Super Bowl. Nigga, how many times your quarterback threw for over three hundred yards? And like, come on, he's not a real quarterback, yo. Oh yeah, right. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Tell okay, who's a real quarterback from the Bears, bro? Like, I don't understand. Caleb why, Williams. Like, no. Damn. Caleb yeah, Williams. Like, like, like I said, get out of here. I'm like, a, look, yeah, you mark see, my face. Hear right me right now. Until you, until you have Caleb, a quarterback when we that draft you actually Caleb Williams, that actually makes a Super Bowl run. When we, yeah, when we you're, draft Caleb Williams. Bears aren't doing shit. Like Jalen Hurts when is we, a top five quarterback. Listen, you don't. Listen. You've never had a top five quarterback. It said you probably saw. We drafted the Bears. We drafted nigga Mitchell was top five quarterback when we drafted him. Bro, our third string quarterbacks are better than Bears quarterbacks, Listen, nigga. This team was a five was a top five quarterback when we drafted him, nigga. You know, yeah, and what and he played like below five, nigga. Like, yeah, like he was trash. Field like, trash trashes, but it's not NFL. Right? See, see what you started, LB. <laughs> Hold on, what did you just say? I'm sorry. I'm saying, see what you started. We're bringing some NFL talk now. See, yeah, see, see, I know. It, it, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 like like said, though, the draft comes, my bears position. will be straight. When the draft comes, my bears will be straight. That's because all I'm going to say. Because Tyler Hunt earned more We're two top five picks. Nigga, that ain't never happened. 
Yeah, you, you guys aren't doing shit. Like, I mean, that's just all like yeah, yeah, two fight with big whoop. You guys aren't doing it. You, th- you thought it was it with Caleb Williams, nigga. We're trading Justin Fields for players and picks. And this nigga was big enough, Justin Fields, even though I said, I told the shit. I Shout told out to Justin Fields. Nigga. Shout out to Justin Fields, but fuck that nigga. We yeah, I, I, Caleb- said, I said this nigga was trash. <laughs> we ordered Caleb was Williams for a hot now. Minute. And now, now this nigga's a great because he's getting traded. K love, K love, K love. <laughs> like, like you're not even got your Detroit run y'all niggas now. That's Detroit and, and Green Bay run y'all niggas now. Yeah, that niggas have the easy thing. Detroit, Detroit niggas. Run these niggas. Listen, Detroit's gonna be last place next year. Mark my words. Them niggas gonna have another 0 and 16 season. Fuck them niggas. Nah, <laughs> damn. They actually, they actually won a playoff game before. Like you know, come on, they actually won niggas, more recently. Than nigga, they won a playoff game before your team did this year, nigga. Yeah, well, we've actually been in the yeah, Super Bowl. Well, nothing, nigga. Rap yeah, we've up. actually been in the Super Bowl. The <laughs> He's like, well, nothing, well, nigga. Lions <laughs> the Super Bowl. <laughs> Fuck the Eagles, nigga. Yeah, like like I said though, I bet you anything, Eagles will make it to the playoffs, and the Bears don't. We'll see. They won't. Y'all gonna make that? What's the over under? Like, what, what's the because because the Rams are coming back and getting that ring again. You know what it is. Yeah, fuck the Rams. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, me and Pilot can actually talk because our team actually won a Super Bowl in the last I don't know <laughs> ten years, five years. You know, like you know, nigga, my team got a Super Bowl dance, nigga. Yeah, yeah. in 1985. That's that's when they actually won the only Super Bowl. <laughs> Talk about a team that actually lives off their one Super Bowl. That's the Bears. We got yeah. Hall of Fa- The Bears got the most Hall of Famers in NFL history. What about that? One Super Bowl. Yeah, I did see that. I saw that. That, that is. We true. got forty yeah. niggas in the Hall of Fame. How many the Eagles got? Y'all got six players. Y'all try one <laughs> Super Bowl. One try Super Bowl. Niggas. Y'all don't. Wanna how many Super Bowls y'all, the Eagles got? Y'all don't want to let T T O in. The Bears got more Super Bowls than the Eagles. No, they don't. No, they I do not. Just they got one. The Bears only got one. Bears got one. But they have one Super Bowl. But these niggas got forty niggas in the in, in the Hall of Fame. Dogs. They're Dogs. all. They're a long. I mean, they are a long time franchise. Huh? You know. They're all yeah, long-time. you guys should have more Super Bowls than just one. That's pathetic. But hold on, how many Super Bowls the Eagles got? One. <laughs> Wait, the fuck? Hold on, how many niggas in the Hall of Fame? I have no idea, but it's not. Now nah, we need number. to know this because the way you was fucking capping right now, like this, like I don't see how y'all could be arguing. You, you, like yeah, you can't have that many Hall of Famers, but only one fucking Super Bowl in your history. That's not a. That's that's that's, that's nothing to be proud of. We breed great. Oh, yeah, players, I, I, I kind of kind of see that. Like, yeah, like. We, but then you, I still need to find out how many Eagles is in the uh, the Hall of Fame though, because like if y'all just got you, one or you three had, like, or something. Super Bowls, or if you if you were like the Steelers or some shit like that, you know, I, I bet okay, I can understand that shit because the Steelers have the you know they're tied for the most, or they had the second most, some shit like that. So, but it's like you guys have all these Hall of Famers, but only one Super Bowl. That's I do want to say real quick, real quick. Rest in peace to Big L, you know, one of the late great MCs uh, of our time award Smiths. And that's all I want to say before before we wrap up. Sorry. Oh, this is his anniversary, right? Of his death. Did that think. nigga already die? Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, though, since, since it was his anniversary, that's all. Damn, it's, it's, oh. been, it's been 25 say, years. I, I could have sworn that nigga was dead already. 25 yeah. years. 25 years. Yeah, 99. Yeah, it's been 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's been a long time. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Shit don't change. Yeah, rapper, well, rapper, well, rapper, here, rest rapper, in peace rapper. to Big, nigga, and Tupac, nigga, and my grandmama. Stupid, yo. <laughs> now, <laughs> what's your final thoughts? <laughs> get up out of here. What's your final thoughts? <laughs> Oh, nah, man, we in here, man. You know, shit. <laughs> more, more boxing content on the way. You know, check out the TikTok. And we putting up some new YouTube shorts. You know, I'm training. I mean, got, got some new fem for Towson on the way. I mean, nigga, just. Getting it in, throwing the hands. Um, well, one thing I'll say this I'll say this. Um, it's funny. Like, today I told Rome, like, yo, the new shorty I'm training today, she remind me of Earl Spence. Crazy, Stan, crazy thing, and crazy thing to say. This nigga, and, and this just lets me know how much Stan Spence's stock has dropped. Because when I told him that shit, this nigga looked at me and bust out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> This I'm nigga like, was like, I'm like, like he was like, God damn. You was beating up. She got she trash. Right. 
And no, it's like no, 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 no. She's not like nah. She 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 dope, but that just lets me know like, wow. Somebody says, damn, yo, shorty fight like a unified champion. Yeah, you know I mean, and niggas is like, ah! <laughs> that's crazy. Like, wow, that's that's like a nigga like yo. So I just pulled a bitch the other day who looked like Kelly Rowland, and a nigga laugh at you. <laughs> Like damn, like, like wow, like damn, like, what she do? Her stock drop like that, nigga. Oh, so yeah, that that just kind of crazy to me. Like one loss, I mean a bad loss, but one loss, you know, and niggas is just laughing when you mention his name, type of shit. So mm-hmm. it's just crazy observation, but but yeah, um, but uh, nah, it was funny because this nigga really had a, like a heartfelt like. Like a laugh, like it was like, like nigga, you shitting me. This bitch garbage. Like, <laughs> like that's a laugh he had. <laughs> so, so yeah, but nah, nah, so do wrong. But um, yeah, Hooper too, nigga. So you know, we we, you know, my offer talent unmatched, nigga. I be seeing them, sir. Like real talk. So yeah, more content on the way. Uh, yeah, we gotta drop some music this year too. Uh, maybe the in, in my blood track or some shit, a solo joint, you know. No, we ain't, we ain't have no um for Cyrac Adele music out in it no no Shutterworth and Rome. So we got we gotta bring that back. Um more and animation my blood on the way. Huh? And my blood is not up. No, you see it out, nigga? Nah. I, I put out that shit with Keith and uh um, McAdoo uh dun 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 the, the, the sample joint like damn yeah, nigga the fit. I know we was in the we ain't been in the studio so long, nigga forgot. <laughs> yeah. Like damn, nigga, but at least I put something out, nigga. You had recorded like two joints and you ain't put none of them shits out. Yeah, shit nigga sitting fire. on a great ass album, y'all. That shit is fire. Nigga literally sitting on a fucking hard ass. I, dude, I fucking heard the one the other day. I was like. Damn. Yeah, I keep that shit like the detox, nigga. I'll drop it. It's it's ready. It's ready to drop. I'll drop it. <laughs> fucking great ass motherfucker. Like that, that you need a sub night motherfucker kicking your ass and make you drop music, nigga. That's like a detox. That's a, that's like top five is like that album that needs to come out. That nigga is like, all right, I thought you was dropping that. Nigga. What is like every time somebody remembers that I do music and they be like. Do you have an album coming out, son? <laughs> <laughs> That's just annoying at this point because I'm like, I know the like, songs yeah, are done. good. Like, I'm like, yeah, it's done. I'm dropping it soon. It's coming. It's coming. Label holding me. Label like, holding no, me. No, the label is not. Look, if y'all <laughs> niggas are listening to this, the Ring Game Radio, the label is not holding this nigga back. Like, nigga, this nigga is not Lupe Fiasco. The label, label shelf me. They said I gotta wait. <laughs> So pilot drop his shit, then I can come out, nigga. How the new nigga drop it? Out? Nah, nah. See, cause the niggas are getting mad at me and Pat talking about. So hold on, I heard the new nigga dropping soon. So like, so what if, happened to Rome? Like, where that nigga from the beginning? If pilot and King P start an EP, I'll drop tomorrow. Drop it, yeah. Let's go. That that should be hard. You if pilot like and King P did an EP, call that shit. Yeah, you go ass niggas. So talk about. And pilot and keep each other. Yo, you know what? <laughs> Yo, sorry, sorry. If, if them <laughs> niggas, if, you know what? I'm the type of thing. If I had enough time, I would secretly ghost right make these niggas get like a fire EP, and they drop it, and we review it, and niggas, and you'll just be like, call that shit. Like, call just, that shit like, like speedy dating <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> so <laughs> shit. Yo, how this nigga standing by a bunch of tables? <laughs> Pilot yeah. leaning against the counter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that should be that should be hard, yo. I'm telling you, speed dating 101. <laughs> there was no such thing. Yo, we got this new conscious pilot, King P. Both decker boys is back. That should be <laughs> Let's hard. Let's go. I'll speed I'll dating. Oh shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause I think I could, cause cause this is the thing. I feel like. They'll balance each other out because King P has spit like all the like the nerd raps and then pilot and start spitting about them hoes. <laughs> and so it's like you'll be listening to King P part and you'll be like, yeah, this nigga, this nigga flowing, he he got bars. 
But then it's like, can me and be the pimp C part? Like, that nigga get in there and be like, fuck all this, nigga. Like, where is, where the bitches at? How she look? Where they dress? That's true. Nigga, I always wonder. I'll get them on my fabulous shit for sure, you know? Niggas that don't rap, I always wonder what they would sound like if they just started, like, snapping when they rap. Like, <laughs> this nigga <laughs> probably just, just going to get this get frustrated. I don't really know what pilot. Battles in college, right? I'm not, I can't, I'm saying, I am saying you can spit, pilot? <laughs> I'm, I'm black. Of course, I can spit a little bit. I mean, come on. I, 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 uh, the confidence. No, I, mean, I, know, I, I know black niggas that can't. Well, I mean, come on. Like, what black can even write down versus, you know, growing up all the time in their books? I, I mean, dude, dude, look. Okay, because you rap into a beat type shit. Like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. mean. It's a little different, obviously, off a beat. Damn, yeah, all right, so I think we... You never know. Not everybody can rap to a beat. That's why I... No, it's tough. No, it's tough. I know. It's tough. Like, I've gotten to a level where I can rap over songs that are playing on the radio and just don't even hear the person's voice. I can only hear mine type shit. It's a, it's a, it's a big learning curve. Yeah. I mean, not, not yeah. everybody can do it. That's why that's, it's, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's like it's that's levels why ghost to the rap. That's why like, goes, anybody you know, can, you know, mm-hmm. rap a cappella, but then when you start it's, beating on the table, it's different. When there's niggas with, you know, there's niggas with right. nice pens that ghost write for a living because they don't sound right on, you know, over a beat. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's, Mm-hmm. But yeah, pilot. Any any last thoughts? No, nah, I mean, um, rest in peace, Big L. Fuck JoJo Diaz. Ring and radio. That's all I got. Yeah, Vince Staples. <laughs> Vince, Staples, Vince Staples show. What else y'all watching? Nigga? Yeah, I might gotta check that. I might gotta watch that. Dad, the Ninja School. No, wait, wait. Show, school of Ninja. Show, wait, what, what's it called, Pat? House of Ninjas. I'm about to. That's uh, House of Ninjas on Netflix. That's the new shit. Niggas is gonna be up on. Um, it's a show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it seasons or is it just one season limited series type shit? Uh, one season. It, it's one season, first season. Yeah, and then of course Tokyo Vice, the second season is out. Three episodes out now. Netflix. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch that. That's Netflix um, too. No, that's HBO Max. Well, if you have HBO Max, of course. If not, there's other means. I keep getting commercials for that shit. I might have to get it, nigga. Yeah, sure. But yeah, uh, what what any other show music coming out? Anything we gotta check for God? Uh, no, Se- that's sexy uh, red, sexy red and Drake dropped a video for Rich Baby Daddy. I'm um, absolutely not. <laughs> <checking> <laughs> <for> that. <laughs> that beat goes to my heart. Nah, fuck, I hate that kind of fuck <laughs> thing for 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 for, for pull, pull in the mind. But that beat is a little hard. I ain't gonna lie. On that. Y'all go the, check that out. The beat's hard. Fuck. I hate Drake's verse is hard. I'm not gonna lie. I hear Drake's verse. I just heard that, you know, this Drake's verse is hard on that song. You know, that shit hard. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, anywho, yes, you know, you know, just check those shows out, you know, and whatnot. And uh, yeah, man, you know, just like listen, like, comment, subscribe, everything that we put out there. We have the website. Got the videos, all that stuff, you know, all this content, yo. So yeah, you just y'all just have to get on board, keep getting on board, and showing us this love, you know. what I'm saying because we do the shit for y'all, you know what I mean. And so yeah, no, I just look forward to having four days fucking off starting tomorrow. About to go to an old school pizza hut where they, I thought they, you know, where they still. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What? What's coming up? What's happening? Why are you getting four days off? Everything good? Yeah, no, uh, I took to because m- uh, Monday's a holiday, and I was like, you know what? I work oh, off. Yeah. oh, I'm sorry. What yeah, holiday yeah, coming yeah. up? Damn. Uh, what was it? Is, is it a president's birthday or Washington's birthday? I always forget. One of these fucking birthdays. Oh, one of them bullshit holidays. Oh, President's Day, nigga. Yeah, it's Washington's birthday. There we go. Yeah. President's Day. Yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Damn, my bad. Okay, man, I'm so disconnected with that. I didn't know that was okay. All right, cool. yeah, we, we Sorry. get that off, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this Friday off too. So yeah, so that's why I'm actually gonna stay up and actually watch Ninjas and sip on something a little bit, and you know, before I, I go to sleep. You know what I mean? So yeah, right. yeah, enjoy. So yeah, and then Pete obviously probably fell asleep. So <laughs> right, just yeah, that's me dating to do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got he got all tuckered out. He's uh, you know the the little kid played too hard at the damn playground. Yeah, and they be sleeping hard as fuck. Yeah, they like <laughs> yeah. He just fell out like <laughs> yo. So for myself, we have the New England representative for LB. So who's the the co artist? 
for King Clay Bodega P, for Conscious Pilot, for Rome Top 5. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, it shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Peace. Speak.